Hello, hello. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2024, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm in the gym, so apologies about the treadmill, but this is partly the only free time I have in the day and had a beautiful Easter weekend. Spent some time with the family, ate way too much food. And here we are Monday, back to a normal work week. Thought we would just do a little short stream. Let's talk about what makes us happy in life. Talk about watches, maybe do a little preamble on ancient technology, pyramids, all that kind of stuff. Maybe talk about my recent uh, meeting with Patek Philippe and how that went. But really, it's the stream is bound by the battery on my phone. Uh, you guys don't might not be aware, but StreamYard, when you're on a phone, it just kills your battery. Like right now, I'm at 51%. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully my workout is uh, timed perfectly before my phone dies. We shall see. So I'll drop the link in the chat. No pressure. Happy to uh, do this one on one. Yeah, we got Mr. Ghost says upvote. I don't. All right, so here's the thing. I guess I'm going to have to do some research. Does uh, upvoting really do anything for small channels like mine? I don't know, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tim Jack says evening. How did the Patek meeting go? Might get to that a little bit later. Um, Mr. Ghost, you're asking as well, how the experience go? I will say it went really well. Um, did not get a watch, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to. So I have really good feelings about it. It went pretty well. Did a little bit of strategy. Some of my friends prior to going, and I'm glad I talked to them because my, uh, my initial strategy was couldn't be further from what ended up happening and I probably probably would have been bad if I did what, what I was what I was intending on doing so but we'll talk about that later um, or maybe I'm hoping I'll have a watch to unbox soon and I can just tell you guys in detail you know the journey you know the journey everybody talks about the journey so good to see you in the chat Tim Jacks and all you guys, friendly reminder, um, Super Chats are donated. Right now they're being donated to the family that I told you guys about. And we're in works with uh, reaching other families that have children with the same disability that uh, this sweet little girl had. So plan is in the future to... Um, you know, help other families out that have a daughter or a son that's currently living with this this disorder because it is uh, life changing and it's difficult. And insurance only pays so much. And yeah, I can't really get into details on the who. Um, I'm a little hesitant to get into the details on the why. Like why this family is so important to me. But if you are interested in learning, feel free to reach out privately. Um, I'll see if I can type my Instagram in the chat. It's pretty simple. If I can spell it correctly, hold on. So it's the real original Diego M just like that and it's you know kind of a play on the real cars and chrono the original oc just needed a name and diego M was just a little bit too boring got our first super chat thank you oh and 
because I'm on my phone, I don't have a way to keep track, but I'll have to go back and update the spreadsheet. From Patel Philippe, 699 Canadian, says God bless. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. And uh, Jonathan Gotsman says, hey, I commented on your 18238 post. Let me know if you'd like to sell. Hey, so concerning that, um, I probably am going to sell it. I have a buyer lined up right now and it's kind of bittersweet. You know, I wore it last week. I love that watch. I mean, the condition of it is just, it's insane. It's, it's a little funny because I spent so long looking for it, you know, and I got, I got a watch that exceeded my expectations of what it could be, but I've just come to realize that it's just it's too much it's uh it's too bold i don't have the wardrobe i don't have necessarily the career that a watch like that is not i don't want to say appropriate because you know you can wear whatever you want but you know when i'm wearing just like a simple sweater and a simple pair of khakis and just whatever kind of shoes um and then you just have this solid chunk of gold I mean, it's bright, you know, it's, it's not, it's not a muted yellow gold. It just stands out a little bit too much. And I just see it as, um, money that could be used elsewhere, either on a different watch or, um, a trip, you know, or put it in savings or in a stock portfolio, whatever it might be. Yeah. Appreciate it. I think, uh, unfortunately somebody pay for some bots because we're at 220 233 viewers very little activity in the chat so we'll see what happens we'll see uh if youtube decides to kill the channel if they do that's okay i'll just start another one but yeah i am at the gym so please excuse me while i uh do a few things What is it that makes you guys happy? Put it in the chat. Don't have the pasta for it. What do you mean I don't have the pasta for it? 304 viewers, okay. This is awesome. <laughs> the damn bots. Oh man. It's funny, I was uh, listening to one of Ashin's streams just kind of fast forwarding through it. And he's like, 1,200 people in the room. How's it going? Yeah. And then like a couple minutes later, he's like, okay, something's wrong. There's like 3,000 people watching. <laughs> oh my God. What do you mean I don't have the pasta for it? The pasta for what? I don't even remember what I was talking about. The good news here in Georgia, the pollen is uh, dissipating. So it's kind of annoying. I just got a new car and you know, you want to keep it nice and clean. And before you even leave the parking lot of a car wash, your car is covered in pollen and it's impregnating in every drop that didn't get dried from the car wash and just disgusting. You open your car door and it just sucks in like a little tornado. Finally, you know, wake up in the morning, looked at my windshield and it really didn't have any new pollen. So when I got a car wash today, it's looking pretty good. Also the allergies, um, you know, I took Friday off because they got so bad. It's, they're still not that good, um, but it is getting better. 393 viewers now. Sweet. Tim Jacks, he says, glamping in Dartmoor at the moment under the stars with the wood burning going. Happy place. Oh, man. That sounds amazing. It's nothing like uh, the smell of a wood burning fire, whether it's inside or outside. It's crazy how it just triggers the 
what do you, what would you call it? The synapses in the brain. It just brings back all these memories. Camping was a huge part of my life growing up. We would, uh, you know, we'd go to a whole bunch of different campsites. Yeah, MJ says 385 watching. No, I think, uh, I think people can pay for the viewers, if you will, like fake viewers. And I believe some people do it themselves, right? So they want to pop their numbers up, they want. Because imagine if someone's like, hey, I'm going to sell my channel to this conglomerate. Well, they want the channel to look successful, so they'll buy their own viewers. But on the flip side, if somebody's being malicious, they could target a small channel and buy a bunch of viewers. And, you know, when YouTube sees that kind of stuff, they, uh, they, I don't know if they're able to see who bought the viewers per se. That'd be interesting. It'll be interesting if this channel, something happens to it and I can, you know, figure out who buys these viewers, but it's essentially, it's a malicious attempt to get the channel struck or taken down. Okay. You're gonna have to give me a second. I'm about to have to do, uh, my set of 100 push-ups. I do them pretty quick, so shouldn't take that long. Oh, see, didn't take long at all. Okay. Whew. But yeah, well, so camping makes Tim Jacks happy. I'm trying to think of what makes me happy. I think a good meal, um, having something to look forward to. You know, a lot of times people focus on the the moment when you reach that top of the hill. But I think having something to look forward to is just as good, if not better. We talk about it with the watches, you know, like the chase. The chase is better than actually getting the watch. I'll tell you what, like, the best part about getting the call is the drive to the AD. Like, it, I swear, the drive to the AD is better than the drive home in a weird, sick way. Some deep psychological stuff going on there, but... It, uh, yeah, I remember getting the call for the Patek. That was, I was in a meeting at work and my boss is a big watch guy too. Just not even expecting it whatsoever. My sales associate texts me, your Patek is here. Let me know when you're coming. And I'm like, yo, and everyone looks and stops and there's only like four people in the meeting and they all look at me and I'm like, check this out, check this out. And he's like, oh shit. So it's, it was amazing. But the shitty thing about that day was I got the text at like five. My AD closes at six, right? So now I've, you know, I got to wait all day. But my boss is super cool. I was like, hey, I'm going to be late tomorrow morning. He's like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, go for it. So it was fun. Oh, let's see. Kyle D says, the fact I finally started editing posting. Whoops. Sorry, I hit the tab. The fact I finally started editing and posting YouTube videos, I've meant to do in some cases for two years. Got 16 videos on the pipeline. Whoa, what kind of videos are they? After that, I'm going to do a ton of photo editing. I'm behind on. That's cool, man. What do you use for uh, what do you use for editing? For video editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro because that's what I grew up on. And for photo editing, whenever I was doing it, it was uh, Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom. But man, Adobe, they, they rake you over the coals with their subscription. You can't just buy it anymore. I think it's like $30 a month. And I did that. You know, I made a couple of montage videos. And 
you know, three or four months down the line, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to cancel this. Well, guess what? When you cancel, you have to pay the rest of the year anyway. There's a cancellation fee, which exceeds if you just keep it for a year. I was like, I don't care. I just want to cancel it. I don't want the reoccurring payments. It's expensive stuff, man. Sorry, I can't see the chat. I'm doing 300 pound squats. Okay. Oh, whiskey video. That's cool. You do some rants as well. Very cool. I want to do. Uh, I want to do a whiskey tasting where. There's like, I don't know, 15 different whiskeys. And on one end, it's like the absolute worst bottom of the barrel house whiskey at some shitty pub, right? And then on the other end is like something that's like 100000 a bottle or something. And I'm not saying I want like a shot of each because that, that can get outrageously expensive. But I do want to experience each whiskey from worst to best with all the senses so like sm smelling it tasting it looking at the color all that shit. and i want to see can you really tell a difference like at some point is it diminishing returns at some point is it mostly just rarity and not necessarily the whiskey itself that dictates the price so that'd be kind of cool i think that happens a lot of watches you got people like uh, Rochef Rochefi making a half a million dollar watch. And there's there's grime and like dust in the movement. Everybody's like, oh, it's just a prototype. Well, okay. Shouldn't your prototype shine? Shouldn't it be uh, like incredible? And, oh, it's just him making the prototype. Well, isn't that his whole brand, that it's just him? Like, no excuse. So, yeah. There's a point it's not worth paying. I feel like that is with all things. Clothes, food to some extent. You know, sometimes authentic isn't better. Hot take. Um, the food in Venice, for example... Not that it was bad, not that it was bad, but it was not, uh, my expectations for the food in Venice and Florence was 180 degrees from what it really was. I thought I was going to like the Olive Garden of Italy, right? No, I was going to like seafood with very lightly seasoned everything. Like everything was seasoned very light. It's like they just used olive oil. And very little, so. But the food is still good, but, you know, sometimes you pay more for authentic whatever, and it's it's not as good. And Lolex does 500-pound squats. I bet he could. Lolex has some thick legs. He's got some big old legs. All right, please excuse me for the next uh, probably 20 seconds here. on the treadmill back on Jesus 400 viewers maybe this is meant to dissuade me hey we'll just embrace it yeah so Kyle says the TV shows make it look like it's the best seafood pasta on earth yeah no I've had better pasta in New York and Boston and even Atlanta um, now I did have what we in America would call just spaghetti with uh, 
like meat, I guess. I don't know. Kind of like the, uh, uh, what do we call it? Ground beef, if you will. Yeah, that was pretty good. Like it, it was very good, but also it's just spaghetti and ground beef. I went, we went to another restaurant in Florence and the wife ordered gnocchi with like a red marinara sauce, right? I really like penne and I hadn't seen it anywhere since we got to Italy. And I'm like, hey, uh, do you guys have penne? And the guy's like, yeah, we do. Let me just do some penne with the same sauce that comes on the gnocchi, the marinara. And he's like, you want to do what? And I'm like, yeah, just penne with red sauce. He's like, okay, uh, sure. Dude came back 15 minutes later and he goes, uh, sir, I'm sorry, but the chef refuses to make what you wish. He says it is disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. He does recommend the penne with a tomato based whatever. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. That'll be just perfect. So what I ended up getting was a plate of penne with probably six to eight baby tomatoes cut in half like kind of uh soft and olive oil and that was it and i was like all right yeah i've had better pasta at olive garden so i was in the wrong what i learned was i was in the wrong part of italy for my idea of italian food apparently you're supposed to go to the south like sicily all that kind of shit, rome so but hey the food wasn't bad per se it was just my expectations we're 100 degrees off from what the reality was. I think if I go back now to Venice or Florence, since I know what's out there, I can be a little bit more um, adventurous with what I choose. I'm not just going to keep chasing the pasta and be disappointed. I'll know that I should order the beef or the seafood, right? Trading profits. Hey, buddy. He says, uh, just tuned in. Any update on the Nautilus? Yeah, so... I guess we can talk about it since I'm on the treadmill. Um, the sales associate reached out and, you know, I was texting with her and she said, have you spoken with the new Patek manager yet? So we're getting a standalone Patek. And I said, no, I, I haven't. And she says, well, here's her information. You need to talk to her. So I was like, okay. So she was available the next day. I show up and just a little bit of background on what happened with Patek and me was I got the Aquanaut. I can't remember the month, um, but I think it was a 20, it's a 2022. So maybe May, I think I got it in May. And then January, 2023, I was asked, hey, so what do you want next? And my initial request was a 5167, a time only. You know, I got the travel time and I said, hey, you know, I know I got the travel time, but I, I also really love the time only, uh, 5167. And then a couple of weeks after that, I was like, that was probably not the right choice. I think in the meantime, I'd gotten to see Boston's 5980 in the flesh and i was like wow these these nautilus aren't as big as they appear in the photos i can actually pull one off so immediately sent her a text hey scratch that 5726 they're like okay well we have one on exhibition only but we can't sell until we get more pieces so once we get something to replace what's in the window we can sell so i'm thinking okay great you know she's not saying no I'm just essentially waiting for the next shipment, right? And, you know, a couple months go by and I was up there for something. And I jokingly looked at the 5726 in the display and I said, hey, there's my watch. And she kind of, you know, turned her head down. And I could tell that there was something that she wanted to say, but didn't. And so I just said, hey, look, I'm a big boy. If I can't get the watch, just let me know. 
she's like, yeah, I've been meaning to tell you, um, just got done with Patek training and they're changing the rules. So it's going to be three to four watches before you can get another sports piece. And I was like, okay, well, that's what, $300,000 at a minimum. And that's three to four years. I was like, that's crazy. Like, no, no offense to you. I love you and I love the store, but I can't do that. And I probably won't. And she's like, yeah, I know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's weird, but it's what they say. So, but in the meantime, I've seen, I've seen some watches hit the market, the local market, if you catch my drift. And so that's kind of where I'm, I'm, I'm going when I go into this meeting and some really good advice from the guys they're like don't bring up that you know they essentially promised you something and then had to go back and don't bring up that you know you're seeing watches from their ad show up on different websites like don't bring that up they don't want to hear you complain so i was like all right you're right i really didn't have a game plan going in other than to not complain and you know, when I met with the wonderful new manager of Patek, I essentially just was like, all right, let's just get to know each other. Let's just have a conversation. That's exactly what we did. We talked about where we each live, where we grew up, you know, how we got into watches. How did you get the job to be the manager for Patek? Is that, are you really excited? Like, that's huge. Congratulations. And, you know, where would you live if you could? Or what did you think about um rolex buying bucher and we kind of talked industry quite a bit we talked life quite a bit but what i about five or ten minutes into the conversation i decided off topics topics that were not to be discussed are what patek i have i did say in passing you know oh and i got a patek from the store it's beautiful but I didn't say 5164, I didn't say couch, or I didn't say Aquanaut or whatever, right? I just said, yeah, I've got a Patek. Um, I never looked at the exhibition pieces they had that were just to my left. And I never asked, I never brought up what I want next. And she never told me what the, what the journey was, right? So we essentially took the meeting as I'm here to get to know you and you're here to get to know me. My sales associate already knows what I want. You already know what I bought. You just have to look at my profile. It would be cringeworthy for me to come here and try to convince you right then and there to sell me a watch. And it would also be a losing battle because if I say I have this watch and I want this next, the response will be the same response that the other hundred people are going to get, which is that's wonderful. Oh, Eddie said, did you buy fake ears? No, I think someone else did. The response would have been that's wonderful. Just like everybody else. Let me explain to you the journey, right? We never got there because I didn't want to go there. Um, I think once, once you open that door, you can't close it, right? And does this increase my chances of getting watched? Who knows? Probably not. But I know the fact that I didn't tell her what I want next means that she wasn't able to reply with what she's probably been told to say is, hey, it's a four-year process. Be patient. What other watches would you like? And I guarantee you that a lot of the other people that are coming in there they said, hey, this is what I have and this is what I want. And then they took the meeting as a meeting to, you know, ask for their next piece. I didn't do that. So I think I potentially stand up and we'll see what happens. Whether I get another watch is, it's not gonna make or break me, it's okay. Sounds like a first date. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't. You could say that, but you know, you have to, you have to be a decent person, right? 
she told me some other guy showed up with his Lamborghini and said, I bought this Patek and it matches my Lamborghini. Here, let me come show you. So we all know what watch that is. That's the auto zone, the blue auto zone, right? So if you're the manager and you have a choice of who's going to get a watch, I mean, you can choose the Lamborghini guy because he's got a, a bunch of money. That's fine. Or you can choose the guy that had the uh, the wherewithal and the respect to not take a first meeting with your future Patek manager and make demands, right? So that's how that went. Dirk Diggler says, I can hook you up with East Mumbai Bot Company. Good deals, just don't slow paper. Yeah, Dirk, the... Uh, the viewership went from, I think it was like three to like 30. And I was like, okay, it's pretty good. And then 96 and I was like, is Archie not streaming today? And then it went to 200 and I'm like, mm, okay, something's up. So I think somebody bought viewers and hey man, it is what it is. And yeah, fella, good chatting with you too. Um, I don't know if you got to watch that video or not, but yeah, it was great talking to you. you. Drop the link here. But yeah, we were talking about uh, what makes you happy. Another thing that makes me happy is um, the future. And when I say future, I mean the near future, predominantly work related, kind of having an idea of what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. Um, it mitigates surprises. I, I can go to sleep comfortably. Like, all right, I'm not going to show up and something crazy is going to happen. So that makes me happy. Learning. I love to learn. That really makes me happy. When, when I get into a subject, I, I go all in. Um, one of these days, I want to do a stream where we just talk about ancient Egypt and the... Uh, just the fact that these guys, they didn't build all that stuff. They inherited it and they mimicked it. <laughs> Diggler, at least you don't live in an imaginary world thinking these 350 viewers are real. Well, Diggler, when the chat gets one new chat every minute, it just doesn't make sense, right? So, yeah, what, what makes you guys happy? Like, there's a lot of things that that make me happy, but that's just kind of the stuff off the top of my head. My dog, oh my God. Looking at photos of him, that shit makes me happy. That's what I thought when I saw the uh, that photo that was a thumbnail. That was, he had this, we didn't know if it was a tumor or we didn't know what it was, but it was something on the top of his head that was growing uncontrollably. And it was, you know, we thought it was a pimple. We tried to pop it and it wasn't. And then, you know, got infected and we're like, Jesus Christ, like this is, you know, Neosporin is not doing anything. We got to control this. So we uh, took him to the vet and they did surgery and we didn't know if it was cancer or not. We were still waiting on the biopsy, but we rented a place in Pensacola and we took him to the beach. So that was, uh, it was really cool for him to get to have a trip with us. Oh, Jesus Christ, America says I've been guaranteed a 5811 as my first piece. Call me the Diego of the North. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> if that's true, that's so fucking awesome. I love that. Oh my God. You're going to have to sell everything because you just got a sick piece too. And I know if you get the 5811, the other one's going. There's no way you keep both. <laughs> and not because you can't. Simply because once you have a 5811, the other one is just like, nope, not wearing that one anymore. Oh, damn, April 1st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you got me. You got me, man. Fuck. All right, pull up time. Be right back. And I can talk when I do my pull ups, but I lose count.
Damn it, America, you tricked me. I was so excited. Yeah, you got my ass. Well, I deserve that. I deserve that. <sighs> Eddie, what makes you happy? What makes you happy that you can say publicly is a better way of asking. Oh, yeah, who knows? Let's see. Uh, what's next? I still need to watch Pumping Iron at some point. I think it's going to change my life. Oh my God, sorry. I want to talk so bad, but I don't want to lose count. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. George Vargas says, good evening, gentlemen. George, how's it going? What's going on? Everybody's excited to see you. Watches, not followers. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. What makes me happy? Oh, so you're saying watches make you happy, not followers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, some people, uh, I don't know. Some, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, but like, you know, some people, their social media is hyper focused on how many people can I get to like my photo, retweet, mentions. I don't really care about that stuff. I think I would like to think that my Instagram, the people I follow, if I were to call them and say, Hey dude, I left my wallet at home. My Apple pay is not working. Can you PayPal this guy 200 bucks? I would, I feel like everybody that I follow would say, yeah, of course. And I would do the same for them. Right. Or if I, uh, you know, if I visited them in their city, they'd let me stay at their place and vice versa. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Okay. So wow. MJ. $250 super chat. He says, Diego is an honor and privilege to know people who selflessly help others. Kudos to you and your efforts. Well, damn, dude. Thank you so much. That is very generous and uh, wow. Crazy. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Wow. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I mean, I can, I, I know what to say. Thank you. And I appreciate it. And that's so kind, but, uh, Jesus. Whew. All right. Um, George Vargy says, can someone fill me in on the charity? I can fill you in on stream, George, in kind of, uh, I mean, I'll just, you can listen to what I'm going to say, but if you want to go into the real details, I can tell you off stream. Just because if I, uh, if I share too much, there's really, and I've already seen some messages that people have been posting. There's some pretty sick people out there. But yeah. Um, America says it here. He says, uh, I'm donating all super chats, including the 30% fee to a family in need that I know. I may have spoken with you about this family in the past, George, because there was a time, there was a time when somebody was, I think Tim was streaming and he wanted to raise money to, uh, as a gift for me. And I, I asked instead to, um, have it be donated to the family and they did, which was great. So. But yeah, man, huge shout out to, uh, where did that go? I lost it. Thank you so much, MJ. It's, it's huge, man. It's huge. 
Wow. Brody's asking, uh, are you going to watch Time New York? Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch Time New York. Um, as far as trips to Los Angeles, I don't have any plans. Um, if I were to go to California, you know, I still haven't visited my brother in San Francisco, so that's got to happen first. From my understanding, my limited geography, they're not close. So, um, <laughs> big MJ, big MJ. But yeah, George, it's it's. Uh, reach out to me afterwards, and I will fill you in on the details. Oh my God. $100 from George Varghese. Diego, this is for the family. Always appreciated your knowledge. Good to see everyone in the chats. Thank you, George. Again, I don't know. It's, it's hard to uh, express how much that means. With it. I mean, words are just words, right? So I'm just like pacing around the gym. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, obviously. Um, Wow. Very cool. Very, that's incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, reach out to me uh, sometime tomorrow, George, and I'll fill you in. And that goes for any of you guys. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I've seen a few. Uh, disparaging remarks, which is expected, right? It's expected. So if you do have questions, I'm happy to answer them. And the other thing to mention is that this channel wasn't made to hyper-focus on the cause, if you will. Like, we don't have to talk about it all the time. So if you do have topics you want to bring up, feel free. Um, it's simply where all the proceeds go because it seems like um, in this community it's a lot of really good people that really like to help others like oh there's so many people in this community I think Buckley touched on it the other day like if anybody reached out like like I don't know Tim Jacks for anything right but if Tim Jacks jumped on a few streams jumped in a couple after shows and he's like guys i'm i'm in i'm in uh wyoming and i can't get a submariner to save my life i've been on the i've been on the list for two years buckley said it best within a week somebody here is gonna go out of their way and get him a submariner even if that means driving to our ad and having a face-to-face -face conversation right it's just really generous people here that care about everybody as a whole and so with that being said, I don't, you know, I've super chatted in the past, right? It's fun. You, you just do it. Is it the smartest thing to do? Maybe not. I don't know. But I've noticed that people do it. And when my channel got monetized, I made the decision that um, I didn't want, I didn't want the baggage that went with it. But also I remembered, you know, obviously the family and what a great opportunity to use potentially the inev the inevitable super chat because there would be some it might not be the size that you guys are sending but there would definitely be a dollar two dollar maybe a couple ten dollar super chats a day and that was always going to them so very cool incredible good tim g in the chat what's going on how is your uh Easter, that's, that's a holiday. Or trading profits, no idea what went on. How can we reach you, Diego? So I'm gonna scroll if I can see where I posted my Instagram. Um, Instagram is the best way to reach me. And let's see, I can't find it. Hold on. Oh my gosh, here it is. The real original Diego M. Just, uh, I think, send me a message or a friend request, and then I'll see it. 
just tell me, you know, who you are and all that. And because I do keep that Instagram a little bit private. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to get a thousand subscribers on there. I'm trying to keep it a close knit community. And also too, I want to see what my friends are posting, right? I don't want to have to filter through 700 accounts that I follow. I want to see what Eddie Mav or I want to see what Buckley's posting or, you know, the watch brands that I actually care about. What are they posting as opposed to filtering through 17,000 posts of like Rolex predictions. So that's how you can reach out to me, buddy. And Brody just sent you an IG message illustrating my thoughts on the new Chrono, Tudor Chrono. I can't pull it up right now, but I will, uh, I'll definitely see your message when I end the stream. We've got JJ in the chat. How's it going? And Brody, a $10 super sticker. What's going on, Brody? Thank you. Oh, I was just talking to you, right? Streaming's hard. Streaming is very hard. Um, yeah, I'm on mobile, so I can't pull anything up. JJ is recovering from Easter weekend. Yeah, me too. I, I went in with the plan of uh, not eating too much and it was a big long table with about 15 different plates of different things and but everything was amazing so you get a scoop of everything that's that's a lot of food i was in a coma for a while it was fun but yeah huge huge shout out again to everybody that's contributed today that's it's incredible um crazy all right i do have to do some push-ups though so please uh give me a few seconds and i might actually i think the wife's going to the gym so i might actually get to keep the stream going a little longer let me check i'll be right back All right, I'm back. I think she's doing the work on at home, so. All right. Whew, all right. Oh. Damn, that's so rude of me. Uh, Trading profits, you were asking me about my Patek. You know, what's going on with me and Patek? Sorry. Um, how are you enjoying that new Aquanaut? Completely forgot you got that. That's so cool. You got it on the bracelet, right? Are you going to get a strap? Because if you get the strap, I think you have to get the uh, buckle. And speaking of buckles... Little known fact, but the 5712 now has the new deployant, the butterfly deployant that has the micro extension and it's no longer flip lock. I figured it out by looking at a uh, European watch company had a 2024 5712 and we were, me and Eddie and I, can't, I think maybe Lolex you're scrolling through the photos and I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> the new clasp. It's not on their website anywhere. Um, it might be visible in a 3D view, but none of their photos actually show the clasp. And I, it's the same one that the rose gold has, right? But I don't remember anybody ever saying like, this is going to happen. There was no announcements. My thoughts really because the 5726 had the new clasp and the 5712 didn't get it, I was like, oh, this thing's getting discontinued. Apparently not. Trading profits, thanks. Yeah, got on the bracelet, looking to source a strap as well. But apparently Patek stopped sourcing it this year. Okay, so I do have... I do have uh, two spare straps myself. I don't know if you remember, but when I bought the watch, it was in May. 
and it was kind of early in the morning when I got it. So when they sized it, they sized it to my morning wrist, right? Which is typically bigger than in the evening. Well, after about half a year or so of wearing the watch, you know, in the evenings it gets loose. And I thought, oh, I can cut one more notch, no big deal. And I ended up doing it. I think I did it on stream. And the next morning I put it on and I was like, oh, fuck, I made a huge mistake. So I ended up having to get a new strap from the AD. But with all that being said, I do have an extra strap, but it's smaller than my wrist. I don't necessarily know that you have a smaller wrist than me, but if you do, you're in luck. So just reach out. Um, Greg, I did not. I'm trying to. And Lolex, $4.99 super chat for a good cause. All right, so Lolex is super chatting for his own hair transplant. Very ad admirable, Lolex. Appreciate that. I don't think I'm going to eat the 30% for this one, though, Lolex. So you're going to have to uh, cover that 30% on your own. Very, very thoughtful of you. I got to uh, respond to the wife really quick. Give me just a second here. Oh, so the 5164 straps are slightly different. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, I guess your only option, I'm surprised that your AD can't source them for you. Um, I got mine in like three or four days. Your other option would obviously be eBay. Um, just try to buy a sealed, a sealed pack. All right, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, yeah, I got to do my, I don't know what these are called, but I've got two 100 pound dumbbells and I do the, the press with it. So let me try this out. I'll be back in like, I don't know, 20 seconds. Whoa. Trading profits. And here comes the treadmill. It's the last set, though, so last time you'll have to. Uh... Oh, Brody, no, I'm not. I'm just exaggerating for the stream. They're 50 pounders. I don't think I could lift 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, okay. So he says, I spoke with the Patek Salon as well. They source it, but not unless it's for an Aquanaut that they originally come with the strap to begin with huh that sucks i know uh rose paul has a 5167 on bracelet and he was able to get the uh strap but like you said they just changed it america says diego doing his best diddy impression with the grunting if you know you know if you do know i'm sorry because that's one of the uh <laughs> That was one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my life. I've heard some weird shit, but yeah. All right, Brody. So I don't know if you were around when the 225 boys was founded, but Eddie, I think he claimed 37 reps of 225. And that's when the 50 yard football claim was born as well, which I've, I've always done it, you know, it's just people needed to actually see it. But the funny thing is, is Eddie did eventually send me a video of him benching 225, but it ends at like after the fourth rep. <laughs> I would like to try 225. I did, uh, you know, I'm just in the gym in my apartment. There's no one else here. 
knowing that I trust to spot me anyways. And I don't even know if we have enough weights to go to 225, but I did bench my own body weight. I want to say six times or something, maybe more. I can't remember, but I was alone and I was like, I wasn't going to push it. It was just to see if I could. So I'm like 150. And I was able to do that like six or eight times. I think I could do 225 once, but my fear is that my, uh, my shoulder is just going to like come out of socket just from the sheer weight. Diego saw my sweet purple weight belt and got motivated. There you go. <laughs> Dude, Evan G in like a year is going to be just a superhero. I can already tell. Just, I mean, yeah, he's tall and lanky, but you've also got huge wrists, which I would imagine means you can be a pretty big guy if you want. Are you coming to uh, Watch Time New York, Evan G? I know you're going to the other place, which I'm super excited about. I was talking about uh, whiskey tastings earlier, so definitely down for that. I want to know if we're supposed to spit it out. I saw, I saw a video a long time ago on YouTube where the guy, he's like, before you drink your whiskey, you have to speak to it. You have to, you have to warm up to it. He's like, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. And then he takes a drink. He spits it on the floor. <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. But yeah, you better come to Watch Time New York. We're going to get Evan. We're going to show Evan the time of his life. I'm not disparaging you, Eddie. I was talking about a different Eddie. Jesus Christ. Relax. I'm probably going to get sued for these 400 bot viewers. I was saying earlier, like if something does come down from people uh, buying bots for this channel, I am curious to know if I could reach out to YouTube and say, do you mind that, uh, sharing who did it? Because it wasn't me. But I'm sure the person that did it has like a Walmart gift card or something that they used. So. I just got super broad shoulders. That more than anything tells how much muscle I can put on. As for watch time, I'm a maybe rather than that than Vegas. Yeah, look, Vegas was fun, right? I don't want people to think Vegas wasn't fun, but if I'm going to have to walk 30, 40 minutes to get a bite to eat or to go to a store, I would much rather do it on the streets of New York than through 10 casinos full of smoke and just like... Really, I mean, sad sights. You know, you see people sitting on the slot machines spending their uh, retirement. It's kind of sad. I would much rather do it in New York any day of the week. I think the food's better in New York. The vibe is better. It's cheaper. Did I mention it's cheaper? Um, yeah, I mean, look. <sighs> Vegas was fun, but the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. Especially for us East Coast guys. That's... That wasn't a short flight by any means. What up? Look, now you can see the background. We're in my secret villa. Mm -hmm. What's up? <laughs> Are uh, you just working schedule. out right now? I am. So this stream. Isn't that cool? I, I mean, there's no schedule. It's really just when does Diego have free time? <laughs> okay. You know? Nice. You know, like, I got some free time. Hell yeah. yeah. What's going Dude, on with you? I need keys one day so I can pull up chats. Oh, yeah. I, I keep having to, like, switch who has the keys. Oh, I no, have... never mind. It's okay. No, no, no. no. It's no. fine. I just have to I have to get the uh, next level of StreamYard. That's how uh, they get you. They get you like yeah. that. They're like, Make oh, sense. you want more than five people on the panel? Pick this one. You're like, all right, cool. And then you pick that one. Mm -hmm. It's like... Oh, but you still only have one set of keys. Do you want another one? They're like, yeah. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. I'll get it eventually. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So what were we talking about right now? Fucking um, Vegas versus New York? Yeah, whatever you want to talk about. But yeah, I was saying New York. Have you ever been? Yeah, of course. Oh, man. It's, it's amazing. I know the people that live there 
you know, they, they have their complaints and probably rightfully so because they see it change. Mm -hmm. But it's still better than where I live. Apparently, my idea of New York has changed a lot since post COVID. And this is just specifically for people that live in New York. But yeah. when I used to go out there, this was like pre pandemic. I just always loved how it was just, it felt 24 seven, the city was constantly moving. Like you would yeah. go eat at like four o'clock in the morning if you wanted to. Yes. Now apparently there's no, apparently that, there's not that many 24 hour places in New York anymore post COVID. That's what I've heard from multiple people that like are still there or moving out. That's, that's gone away. And then uh, the subways from just the news you hear is just like fucking dangerous now. So you got to stay above ground. You can't go on the subway system anymore. But yeah, it's it's uh, the the weird thing about the subway. I would equate it to driving on the interstate. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous, right? And you might do everything perfect, but things are out of your control. If if someone decides to uh, text while driving and they swerve into you, you can't control that. The same as if you get on the subway, and somebody decides. I'm going to stab this guy for his phone. You can't yeah. control that. And it's, it sucks because it shouldn't be like that. Right. Everybody can control sitting on a subway, getting on, getting off and not harming anybody. But fuck man, you're right. It, it, it wasn't maybe not as frequent, right? It still happened in the past, but I think the frequency has gone up. So, um, but yeah, it's, there, I love New York, man. I, and you, it's, oh, it's so amazing. It's I cool. would, um, I need to go out there again now. I'm planning like a May trip potentially to get out there. And I want oh, to, it's gonna um, be, it's gonna be hot. Uh, that's what I want. I want it to be hot. I don't want to go like when it's shitty and windy. Uh, I want good weather in New York. So I'm going to go out there, I think around May, um, and see what it's like now post COVID. So I haven't been since COVID ended. Um, dude. I, I'm not, I don't really sweat much. Like I yeah. think there's either something wrong with me or it's genetics, uh -huh. but New York was one of the places that I actually sweat a lot, like through my clothes. It was yeah. so, so humid there. It was crazy. Yeah, dude. Us, us Mexicans don't sweat. It's in our you blood, sweat? David. You, no. you sweat a lot. No, I don't sweat. I'm not a sweaty guy. I honestly don't sweat. Yeah. I leave that Madness. to, uh, the sweaties, the gross sweaty. Mathis gives me shit. He's like, you're working out of the gym and you're not even out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not, because I work out so much. I'm like, dude, genetics, man. I don't know what to tell you. And um, then he says, let's do a New York trip. I'm game. I'm game, dude. You know what's funny? I Over Easter, I was telling my dad or my parents that like, oh, yeah, I, like, I'm throwing around the idea of going to Egypt. Yeah. They're like, are you fucking stupid? They're like, are you stupid? Like, do you want to like, <laughs> like, you're why are you going into like, like a terrible area? Why wouldn't you go somewhere nice on vacation? I'm like, I don't know. I want to nah. fucking touch. Want to touch the pyramids? Yeah. So they uh, they've actually improved quite a bit. There was a time, 2017 to like 2020, it was a little mm -hmm. dicey, like really dicey. Um, right now. I would still consider it dicey just because it's on the border with the mm -hmm. conflict zone. Mm -hmm. uh, but when is it not, right? But the country itself has put a lot of money in, into the tourism uh, spectrum. They've built some really amazing new museums. And they the, the government saw during that 2017 to 2020 period just how bad their economy was doing because no one was coming. Yeah, but they've really tried to like, all right, we got to take this seriously and we have to make it so that when people come here to see our artifacts and our sites, that they go back home and say it was incredible. Exactly. Right? And I think that's how it is now. Um, the guy that I follow that uh, he does the guided tours. I mean, he's going like two or three times a year. So we definitely I'll keep my ear to the ground. And when he uh, when he schedules one, we'll have to jump on it quick because I kind of do fill up. But he takes you from site to site. You know, they speak. Mm -hmm. He's English. so They speak English. And you just get to see all the shit like 
Huh. Everybody else might be like, look at this giant statue. And they're all just like, oh, wow. And he's like, come check this out. This stone came from a quarry 500 miles away. And you're like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. No, you're right. But uh, it'll no. be fun. I, I want to try the food, man. I want to do it. But Tim G said, <laughs> Eddie and Tim G are kind of talking me out of it a little bit. Eddie's going aggressively poverty, aggressive poverty. And Tim G says, why would you want to go to the Middle East? <laughs> Which well, is a very valid question. Why would you want to go to the Middle East? That's, hey, that's fair. Listen, that's fair, listen. man. Yeah, but you could also say the same for every city in the United States, right? Yeah. You could yeah. say, don't go to Chicago. Like, me and the wife, we went to Chicago twice in three months. And I remember. Oh, well, that doesn't count, dude. No, that's no, no, completely... no. But listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I remember co workers and friends being like, even my family. Be careful, Chicago's dangerous. Yeah. I'm like, well, yeah, there's dangerous parts, but we're not going there. Oh, you gotta be careful. I'm like, where do you think we're going when yeah. we go to Chicago? Like, we're not going. Do you think we're going, going to the south side of Chicago? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eddie's gonna protect us when we're in jail. It's in fine. It's I fine. love how Eddie I love how Eddie joins the stream and like 0. 0.07 seconds later, he's in the private chat. Let me in. It's because last time you let me in for 20 minutes. <laughs> I didn't see you. Chicago is great. But look, every one of these major cities has like the no, the exclusion zone. Just don't go there. Right? But it, fucking Chicago's exclusion zone is in the middle of the city next to the fucking McDonald's on Wabash. No, it's not that bad. Have you, have you mm. seen that McDonald's? It's pretty shit. Is that the one where the guy pulled his 1911 on those kids? It's the one where there's a shooting and it's like right next to the Golden Mile or whatever it's called. I saw a video where this like kid was beating the fuck out of this old guy, like just destroying him. And this lady's filming from inside the McDonald's, I think. And all of a sudden the old guy reaches in his fucking belt, pulls out a 1911. And then the lady filming goes, no, don't do it. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He didn't do anything wrong. I was like, dude, this is a misrepresentation. Easy. No, this is the thing, though, Diego. In Egypt, you expect, A, it can get a little bit dicey, but when you're in a fucking tier one, okay, a tier 1.5 city, you don't expect that type of shit to happen. True. Yeah, Egypt. It's all about expectation. If you go to Egypt, there's a 6% chance you'll be on CNN within a week, right? Egypt? 6%? No. Yeah. What are you, you, what, are you doing? what are you doing in Egypt? You're not fucking roaming the desert trying to loot shit unless you're trying to export <laughs> shit. <laughs> you're trying to steal hey, trying to bring some things. of the pyramids back, Diego. That's, I that's, brought that's, no, I brought this rock from Atlanta. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm but you should look like you're from that quarry five hundred miles away that way. This is my good luck stone. Don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'm gonna let you guys jab because you guys jab really good. Oh, I do my, that, okay. my stuff. This is yeah, the I thing. Can... Egypt, okay, Egypt is, there's a fuck ton of poverty, but yeah. the entire city is next to the pyramids. Right. Right, and if you go on a guided tour, most guided tours, they're aware of the shit that happens <laughs> around there. They're yeah. aware of all the scams that try to happen. So if you have someone that's been in the city maybe twice before, they'll be able to navigate you around. What if I told you, Eddie, that Egypt, what if I told you the Great Pyramids are like, I would say number six or seven on the top 10 interesting things in Egypt to do. That's fine. Yep. Hold so up. we're going to go to all these. Interesting. It's a gigantic fuck, three fucking big ass rocks. Well, three no. rocks. They're super interesting. They're soup. The pyramid of Giza is extremely interesting. The geometry and the internal. Yeah, but oh you're not going to fucking see the geometry when you're fucking yeah. there. Yeah, we're not going to break out rulers, Diego. Yeah, we're not going to start down. measuring like, oh, this is 343 paces this way and 343 and a half paces the other way. Wow. Okay, well, either way, uh, I'm down with the New York trip as well. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. do that. you can do a lap around the pyramid and so you can, we can see if you can football over the pyramid. Egypt's getting a little oh, heated. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's focus on New York trip. We're going to go to some rooftop <laughs> bars and smoke cigars, right? We need pizza, Cat's Deli. Gotta take you there, Lola. Dude, Cat's sure. Deli's is like twenty-five dollars for a fucking sandwich. Yeah. I know it was pretty good though. It was good. Amazing fries. 
I wanted to light money on fire. I tried to play the panic game. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, Egypt is Egypt is not that dangerous. Like parts yeah. of South America were like pretty dangerous when I went, and I still felt fine. Oh really? Okay. So you've been to Egypt already before, Eddie? No, right? my no, my friends have been. My friend goes to Egypt like once every two months or three months. He does. He has his little rotation that he takes people, take girls on dates before. Jesus Christ! Who's your friend? David Guetta. It's it's halal, right? <laughs> he just bounced. Don't off. worry about it. Where did you uh, go? We we can change the subject. I was gonna. Right. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that actually. Uh, Rolex releases. Let's talk about that. That's around the corner. Ten days, my friend. Did you see the uh, mock-up of the Tetris style day date? It's not a mock-up. It already came out, right? Rolex released it. It's April first. Come on. <laughs> I'm such a fucking idiot, Diego. I fucking hate myself. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm so fucking oh. stupid. God damn it. I thought that was real. I was like, this is pretty stupid, but it sounds well, like Rolex would do this. Fuck, I, I hate myself. I, I woke up to the group chat. Being, I think Boston sent it. He was like, oh, sick. They made a yellow gold Le Mans. And I clicked on the Instagram link, and it's like, Today, Rolex, one week prior to Watches and Wonders, announced their first of many new releases, the Yellow Gold Le Mans. And I'm like, that makes sense. Nobody saw it coming, but yeah, that's yeah. like an easy, because people were wondering, you know, is it going to be steel? Is the 100 still going to be red? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, ah, oh, no, it's just yellow gold now. Like, And it actually matches like old, Daytona's like Boston has a six something. I can't remember the reference, but yeah, don't be surprised. So everybody, they actually do. Yeah, everybody in the chat was like, "Oh, sick!" And then someone's like, "Guys, it's April 1st <laughs> Like, fuck. <laughs> um, the Tetris, which is funny because it kind of made sense, but uh, new release is coming up. Either way, I think it's going to be a win-win for a lot of people or at least for me at least you know if they come out with that new gmt i'm gonna bug the shit out of my ad for that pepsi like asap the old one you know like, give me the old one oh, motherfucker okay. i want it give me oh, a you mean if one. it's like a you mean if it's like a 41 mil pepsi oh everyone will <sighs> want it if there's a 41 mil pepsi everyone will want it everyone will want it so i think the demand for the old one will drop a little bit and the people with the purchase history be a little bit easier so I'm going to bug the shit and be like, yeah, give me a fucking Pepsi on Jubilee now. That might work, dude, because you know, that's how I got my Panda the day of the discontinuation. Exactly. exactly. Hey, Diego, we noticed you didn't reach out. Did you not like anything? And I'm like, no, it got bigger. Everything yeah. got bigger. I'll take an old Dusty Daytona if you still got one as a meme. And then an hour and a half later, come get your Panda. So, yeah, yeah I mean. Exactly. I would be, uh, man, the GMT Master Two. If it could just be a little bit smaller, it would be perfect. You said the GMT Master Two. If it was a little smaller, just a little bit smaller. Give me like a thirty-nine point two. <laughs> right. I, uh, I, I wore the 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 green sub all day yesterday for Easter, and it's not oh. terrible, but I am ready to you know get out of well, it and, you know so you just lost five hundred dollars doing that what do you mean oh wearing it <laughs> yeah probably i've been wearing it dude so it's it's either gonna it's gonna sell that way but i think i still think 14.5 is pretty fucking uh pretty competitive in this market for so. the new green sub i think that's yeah i think that would sell fairly quickly and that would uh that'd be pretty great so I, th I think it's funny when if like let's say you took your watch to a dealer yeah they're like oh maron <laughs> fucking this thing's worn well, Oof, maron, look this. at these scratch here scratch there I, I can give you 13. you're like fuck, dude but then if you were going to buy the watch and he had it for 16 and you're like damn this thing's all scratched up he's like hundred dollar polish job i can do it in, the, in an hour relax right like my phone now it's, now it's not a big deal. <laughs> well, no, like it's not, dude. I don't bang my watches around like that, so that it's pretty. I would when I if I were to go sell it, I'd be like, "This is brand fucking new." But, um, what was I gonna say? 
I totes forgot. I think 14.5. Oh, yeah. David SW offered me 13.5 for it. Pretty which strong. Is not far Very fucking strong. He offered me 13.5 for it. So I think I could probably move it at 14.5, pull my money out of it, sell the Speedy 2, and then just, you know, finish the Trinity Dude. like we talked about. He, uh, he's got some crazy prices. He had a GMT Master 2 for like 18000 like the old one. That's what I'm telling you. These fucking... I'm going to try to get out a little bit out of the... Well, either I'll you're breaking back. up or I am. Okay. All right. Whew. So I started the stream with 50-some percent battery. We're at 18. Almost done with my workout. I got to find a new show to watch on Netflix. I just finished The Gentleman. Do you guys have any recommendations? Whew. Oh, he got the call. It's over. I was telling the guys, I was like, I really hope I get the call today because none of you guys are going to believe me. <laughs> That'd be incredible. Oh, man. I saw the green sky dweller the AD. It was very interesting. Very interesting. And then I told a bunch of people today, they're like, bullshit. Bullshit. I'm like, come on, give me a little grace here. Like, this is my April Fool's joke is to tell you that I saw a green sky dweller. <laughs> I do have to say, though, it, uh, it was much nicer in steel than in the rose gold because I saw the rose gold green back in July. I think at an AD in Paris, and it was just, it was too much. Like, it was just way too much. FG says, pivot to video games with Mathis and me. So what game are you guys playing? Is it Starship Troopers? I want to, uh, I want to get you, FNG, involved in the game called Squad. Super hyper-realistic, um, kind of first-person shooter. You know, there might be 60 people on your team, but the map is like an entire city. And you're in a squad of, I think, nine, maybe? Everybody gets their, you know, you're going to have a LMG guy, you're going to have a sniper, you're going to have a grenade launcher guy, you're going to have a squad leader, medic, all that kind of shit. And, like, you have to use real tactics or you're just going to, you're just going to keep dying. And it's not instant respawn. You have to wait, like, I think 30 seconds. Really fun game. Super Sex Dave F four fifty one. I think that's a is that a Ferrari Dave? Super Sex. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to watch Super Sex. Rather just watch. Uh, go to a couple websites. Hell Diver, just delivering managed democracy to the galaxy. Fighting bugs. Fighting bots. Fighting the enemies of freedom. Well, Evan, that sounds cool. You know what sounds cooler? Fighting the Taliban. You could do that in squad. It's weird though. They have like every major faction. They have Russia. You can actually play as a Taliban, which is kind of weird. Kind of sucks because like sometimes you join servers and like the U.S. Marines are full. And you're just like, ah, I don't know if I want to go do this right now i think they've got canada they got england australia they got china that's another weird one it's like a world war three simulator johnny o good to see you man good to see you johnny o are you enjoying that date just hope you are oh man i was telling the wife uh you know she's actually quasi getting interested to Rolex and kind of told her to go on the website and pick one out. And she had the wherewithal to just choose a stainless steel without any diamonds, which was really nice, really generous of her. But she chose a 31, 31 date just. And I don't know if she appreciates just how small that is. Um, she could pull a 36 off. 30, do they make a 34 date just? I don't think they do. 
but she wasn't a fan of the OPs, which kind of shocked me. Um, some of you might remember when I got the palm fronds. I tried to give it to her, and she she didn't say no, but she did say like, "I'm not really a big fan of the green." To which then I said, "Well, then no. Like, if you don't want this watch, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna be the one that bangs it up." So I ended up giving that one to my mom, but. Yeah, Miss Diego's not into the hype stuff, which is good and bad because, I don't know, I feel like the 31 date just costs maybe even more than the 36. If I'm going to spend that much money, I want her to get some, uh, get some, something out of it, something substantial. Yeah, Palm Fronts getting discontinued. I actually had that confirmed by my sales associate. She, uh, she told me she was at the training a couple weeks ago. She also told me, you know, everybody keeps asking her about the Pepsi, and she's like, we just got one last week. They're not getting discontinued. That was cool. For all you Pepsi lovers, don't fret. Tim G drinking down a glass of, uh, what is that? Maple syrup you're drinking? What do you drink when you go golfing, Tim G? What's your what's your drink of choice on on the course? I'm trying to uh, oh, finish this work out here. Oh, well, I only have one recommendation for Netflix. Super sex. Don't think I'll be watching that. Evan G likes light beer or gin and tonic while golfing. Nice. I like uh, vodka cranberry double. Those are always good. They sneak up on you, though. I always make the mistake when I go golfing. You know, we usually get like a, I don't know, a nine, ten tea time, whatever, whatever it may be. I'm not a big breakfast guy by any means. And in Georgia, nine. Nine o'clock to call it ten forty-five in the summer, mind you. It's a brisk seventy degrees at most, right? It's nice. So you're not preparing for the inevitable, which is hundred ten degrees with no cloud cover from eleven o'clock to three p.m. And every single time I go golfing in the morning, I always fall for the same trap. I didn't eat any breakfast. I didn't drink enough water. I drank on an empty stomach and I'm smoking a Padron. And so by the time like 12, one o'clock comes, I'm fucking dead. My whole body hurts. I'm dehydrated, I'm sore, fucking dried out like a mummy because of uh, the cigar, I'm starving, I'm a little drunk, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I never learn, never, never learn. All right, I gotta do these, uh, I think they're called dumbbell presses, and then I'm done in the gym. Should be an Arnold Palmer, yeah. Tell you what else I do when I go golfing. My buddies, they all dip, so I always say, let me get a dip. Yeah. Throwing it a little winter green or whatever the hell, Copenhagen. I think that's what they like. All right. Last set, and then we're out of here.
Okay. All done. Don't forget to re-rack your weights. And... That's it. Harab noises. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Chris Lutz, now I'm in the gym. Sorry about the sound. That's the sound of a tiny little 150 pound guy trying to gain some muscle. But guys, it's been fun. Really wanted to thank again the uh, people that super chatted for a good cause and you know words can't express how uh, thankful I am how thankful the family is and will be and uh, yeah Patel Philippe 699 Canadian thank you so much MJ $250 that's huge that's huge George Varghese, good to see you. $100. Amazing. Brody, $10 super sticker. Thank you so much for the support. And last but not least, certainly not least, Lolex with the $4.99 for the hair transplant fund. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I think... I hate to say it, but do that whole, oh shit, OC 91, 999. Hey man, don't, don't, don't apologize. I appreciate the support. He says, sorry I'm late for the cause. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and I, one thing I do want to say, please don't feel pressured to super chat. You know, like when you go to buy groceries and they say, would you like to donate the roundup to the next dollar? There's pressure. There's pressure to say yes, right? I don't want anybody feeling pressured or guilted into this. It's just, you know, I'm not keeping the money because I don't want the money to get involved or between anything. And, you know, I have to explain where it's going. So I really appreciate everybody that, that supports, but I just, I did want to say, please don't feel pressured. Um, just only do it if you really want to. So thank you, OC91. That's uh, super generous. Really appreciate it. And what was my final thought? I was trying to remember what I was saying. Something about Lolex's hair plugs. No. Um, oh, yeah. Let me know how you guys were notified that I was streaming. Um, I've noticed that when I set up a stream ahead of time, it doesn't really pop up on my channel per se so oh shit eddie says keep on streaming i've got 12 percent battery so you're gonna have to jump on because when i walk from my home to or from the gym to the home i lose wi-fi so jump on and backfill me for a sec put the uh link but yeah, um, you know, hit the bell and all that kind of stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, go for it. Not because I care about the number of subscribers, but if you don't want to miss a stream, it helps to be subscribed. And it helps to ring the bell so that you're notified. Um, typically pretty, pretty little lead time from when I schedule to when we go live. So just be aware. So, all right, man, I'm going to make the treacherous two minute walk home. So I'm going to lose signal. Here. Yeah, okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Give me, just give me a second. Okay, let's look at these chats. Oh, I can't even pull anything up because I don't have keys. Sad. Sad. Hum humbling, right? It's humbling. humbling. I don't think uh, there's probably like only like four people watching. Yeah, that well, three I now that those bots. Whoever bought those bots, really. That's... Hey, man, it is one of those. It's messing up our stats. Let's see. What is happening? 
Dr. Bob Nightmare, are the wrists getting bigger with pull-ups? I don't believe they are. I don't believe they are. Wrists only get bigger if you get fatter. It's hard to, there's not that many muscles on your wrists. It's a lot of ligaments and tendons. Uh, Eddie, thoughts on AP you own? It's interesting, but it's just too small. But, you know, that's why it's so cheap, right? Because it's a 33 millimeter. My wrists are normal sized. My wrist is like around a 7.3 inches. <clears throat> but this is like a vintage 33 millimeter AP. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah, tantalum and steel, quartz movement, Eddie? five millimeters thick. Oh, so it's just a super small, lightweight, human AP. I think if they made a uh, 39 millimeter ultra thin with tantalum and steel like this, I think that would be really hot. But, you know, this, this, will, this will have to hold me over until I can get a real watch. But, yeah, it's a good looking watch-ish. I like it. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Let's fix my audio settings. All right, I'm back. What'd you say about the... Uh, did you see that API posted in the chat, by the way? That Tantalum Offshore? Yes, I have seen it. Dude. That is, a, why don't you get that? The tantalum, it's 40 grand. Oh my God. It looks old. Yeah. Why does everything that looks good have to be so expensive? Like, I I, th I, I remember you showed me, like, okay, it's not 40 grand, but like this one is, what is, wait, what, let me pull this one up again. This is a oh, pre-owned mint. I think this is a tantalum and ceramic off. This is pretty fucking good looking, though. Hit your. Uh, if you want to share your screen, I can. Uh, no, I got too much. I got too much porn in my other tabs. I got you. But open. I sent it I, in the private chat. I can't. I can't pull it up either. I'm on my phone. Fuck. Well, okay. It is a 44 I trust, millimeter. I trust you. It's super cool. <laughs> it's a 44 <laughs> millimeter offshore with uh -huh. a ceramic bezel ceramic pushers ceramic crown wow tantalum case black dial tantalum sub tantalum colored so, is this actually tantalum or am i just making yeah it's no it's titanium Motherfuck. hey i'm, I'm gonna switch to my uh ipad real quick Two and, um, who the fuck is this tantalum watch Well, fuck that titanium watch is pretty cool too. Okay, well they have the same watch, but not in a forty-four size. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Sick. Yeah, okay, that watch I, I, was. Uh, I really like that watch that I sent you. The watch I the watch I put in the private chat was titanium. Okay, I, I stand corrected. The tantalum watch. Is sixty five thousand dollars. So, like, yeah, I'm not fucking buying that. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. What's your? Uh, hey, man, I wish I was on my computer because we could show that. Um, that world time. Oh yeah, the fifty two thirty G. Have you considered going on your computer? Mm, no, I'm not. I'm not. She's about to start cooking dinner, which won't take long. So I don't want to get planted on that computer. But what are your, we can show it later. But what were your uh, what were your thoughts on all that? I think so. It's a 5230G, so it's the gray dial, white gold, world time, and it has this. It has like a pattern, a circular, circular pattern in the inner circle of the world time complication. I think that was really cool. Crownless, big bulk, no, crown guardless, big bulky crown. It looked really good. I think that watch on like an ostrich leather strap to match the inner pattern on the dial would be sick. And it's just gray, white, and gray. So it's like a monotone color. I think that would be very cool. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, the way you and I were talking on the phone and 
think we started talking about uh I don't remember what we were talking about, but I told you to go look at Ed Sheeran's World Time. Yeah, the purple one. And you were like, whoa, what is this? And I was like, isn't it sick? And his is like super custom. Like, I don't think we can buy a purple one, but the closest thing is that, that gray. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's the best World Time I've seen. Yeah, it's, I, I, I think the gray looks really good. And, you know, it could be had near mint box and papers, 20, 21, 34 grand. Or you could go buy a 6119 from the AD and spend over 40. Yeah. So, like, you know, and, and, and wait a year. Yeah. So, like, I think the 5230 is a really cool watch. I think that that would be an interesting way to get start getting into Paddock of getting that used watch first. Yeah. You know and what, though? I did, uh, I sent a signal out to someone at my AD. I said, I, I, I was like, look, I'm thinking of buying a 5980 pre-owned. Well, let me know let when me you sell one. So you, and then when he flips it, I can buy it from it. No, no. I said, look, I, I'm, I'm seriously considering buying a 5980 pre-owned. Should I wait? Essentially saying like, let me know if I'm getting something, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, her response was, uh, if you buy a used piece it, outside the store, it doesn't count towards your purchase history. Oh, yeah, of course. And of I course. was like, that, that's not what I'm asking. You know, so when you say that you're thinking of buying the world time to start your protect journey, do you mean your personal journey or? Personal journey, not okay. personal so, journey. Like basically like... Sh yeah, so not yeah. to show up at the AD and be like, look, I love the brand. Yeah, no. It's like personal journey. That's sick. I, I think it's a cool watch. I, I otherwise, think... if you if you start your protect journey, you buy a fucking six one one nine, you lose twenty grand right off the bat. You get fucked in the ass. I'm good, dude. I think uh I know you're looking at the five one six seven rows, but I think the world time and a steel uh aquanaut would be perfect. Like right wouldn't now, you rather, wouldn't you rather have two Patek's than one? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't want to buy any modern Patek over retail. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think. I, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to pay over retail for that. Right. Because. Is, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we saw. I think I showed you that one. It's the. It's the blue dial, white gold, with the New York Fi die in the in the inner yeah. circle. It was a little too busy for me, especially a little comparing, Nikia, comparing it to the one that comparing it to the one that we saw. Yeah, I can actually let me see. I can do this. I can show this image. But I think sure I don't dox my workout outfit. I'm gonna hold this in front of the camera and turn my camera on. No, on. I think. I think what what is it Oops. once? Yeah, that's it. That's a sick piece. Focus, baby. And you can see like it has those little dots, some strange motif that is concentric around the inner circle. Yep. And I think like that with like an ostrich leather strap. Oh yeah. Might give you a little bit of trypophobia, but I think that would be sick. I Not really do. I really do like that texture over the guilloche or the enamel look at the crown too that's a substantial big crown. crown big crown prominent crown very cool very cool damn that camera was wider than i thought it was going to be <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah good thing i wasn't yeah. naked because that watch at 34 grand before like negotiating down the price a bit you know it's not bad whoa i just got an email Oh God, that freaked me out. Donald what? J. Trump to me. The subject is I'm suspending my campaign. And I open it up and he goes, just kidding. April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> I will never stop fighting for the American people. What is <laughs> that's a fucking oh, hilarious. He got, he got me. He got he you got though. Me. I can I can say that Donald Trump pranked me today. That's pretty cool. 
But uh, I think the 5230G would be good. Mm. But I'd rather have the FP Zorn automatic than that watch. So let me ask you a question. Let's just say you do consolidate and you decide what you want. Are you the type of guy that will buy what you want first and then sell? Or are you going to sell what you have first and then buy? Or are you going to oh, go face weird noise. Or are you going to go face to face and do the transaction? You're going to find somebody that has what you want and is willing to take what you have. Because there's many different ways to consolidate. None of which is as satisfying as bringing your watches somewhere and leaving with a new watch. Right? I think the weird noise might have been you. Because I don't hear it. I wish you guys could see the background. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Check this out. How cool is that? That would be. Okay, what's up? I was just saying how cool this living room is. I would so. Oh, in, in terms of the consolidation, I think I'd be the type of guy that would buy it first and then not sell my other watches and just end up with too many watches. Yeah, you know what happened with me? Like four watches ago, I was supposed to sell when I got something new. Yeah. Like when I got the, uh, I think when I got the. J the reverse so i was like all right you're gonna sell something right didn't sell and then i got i don't know i need to look at my box to see what the hell i got one of the daytonas is like all right enough enough's enough <laughs> it's like it just never stops it yeah never so stops. i think i think if i got if i got if i bought the I, uh, i'm gonna wait until after watches and wonders kicks off to see if they discontinue to olive before I sell it, because I don't think the price the price didn't go up in the last three months in in expectations of discontinuation, so that's not priced in. But I think I'm going to get rid of the olive because I just don't wear it. Yeah, it's just a big. It's just a. At this point, it's just money just sitting there. Yeah, it's a and great like, watch. It's a great watch, but in reality. Like you would much rather have a rose gold Aquanaut. Yeah, like and I, and I sold forty grand worth of Nvidia back in twenty twenty two to buy it, so I missed out on like two million dollars. Ooh, so no, I'm kidding. Like that would be that would be heartbreaking. That would be heartbreaking. Oh yeah, that would be so heartbreaking. <laughs> I still I still need to do that. I still need to. Uh, I created an account. I still need to deposit all my money. Well, not all of it, obviously. Let me ask you a question. Oh my question. God. This is going to be autistic. Maybe. All right. We're using round numbers. These aren't real numbers, people. These aren't real numbers. I'm going to pick a crazy number so that nobody knows. But let's say I open up a trading portfolio and I throw in $10 million, right? Yes. And I get the call for a, I don't know, a $10,000 watch. And I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, I need to get ten thousand out of my trading portfolio. What's yeah. the time frame? What are the tax implications? And what's the process? What do you mean? It's it's. You, you got. I don't frame? know anything about it, so you got to tell me. Okay, so is it so you put ten million dollars in there? You just spent ten million dollars. You bought some stocks and shits. So yeah. then you would sell your stocks and then assuming everything is assuming you're holding all the stocks and everything is settled, you would sell your stock. It'd probably take around two to three days for the money to reflect back in your brokerage account. And they could then transfer that back to your normal accounts. And that'd take another two to three days. You're looking at like maybe four business days for the cash to go back into your checking account. And then during tax time, it's all going to be reconciled in the 1099B. Okay. So no big deal. So, yeah. and that's good because you know you, have 50 you pay million. you pay with the credit card to get the points so that's i didn't know if it was like a month-long process no no it takes so, like three to four days okay well good because i always i didn't know if i should keep like a potential i got the call amount in my 
savings, right? No, you can keep, I mean, you don't want to risk all your stocks going to shit though. Oh, but you, sure. can also, you can also keep it as brokerage cash on your account and you can, I think you can earn like four and a half percent interest on it. Oh shit. Which is like better than quite a few savings accounts. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I gotta get, I gotta get on that here pretty soon. Yes. Just know the day that I deposit is when you should sell. Can you tell me what you're buying so I can sell it? <laughs> I don't know. Merrick was showing me, uh, he was like, just put it all here and don't look at it for 20 years. What, VOO or something? I can't remember. It was something. Dude, if you're matching the market, means you're not beating the market, Diego. I'm not trying to beat anybody. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, let's just say I have a million savings i don't want in 20 years to still have a million i want to have they want to have 500 instead a billion <laughs> what's up no lex what's up just had some shitty calls right now uh what are we what talking happened? about nah, diego we're just, we're just diego doesn't know how stocks work yeah who fucking it, does apparently all these people that grew up with like stocks brokers as parents I they didn't teach me this shit in school yeah, nobody taught me that, and I fucking well, I don't know. Dude, in high school, yeah. in high school, our psychology teacher was teaching us about Roth IRAs, how it's really, and the importance of compound interest. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a generation difference between me, Diego, and you, Eddie. Because aren't you like uh, twenty five or something? You're like Cam's age, right? I'm, I'm thirty four. You're not thirty four. Get the fuck out of here. No, You're 20, not 34. 28. You're twenty eight. Yeah, maybe that's the age difference there. Because in my school, yeah, there was none of that. It was all fucking learning to type, history. Boomer ass shit. Yeah, poor people yeah, should. My school, it was like, we have to prepare you for the state test. Yeah. If you guys don't do well. We don't get money. So these are the subjects we're going to learn. And none of that shit was money management. Like, none of no, that. Yeah. Yeah. Diego, do you own a do you own your place and do you own rental? No, you don't. Do you own a rental place or no? No. My only debt though is the mortgage. Well, it's it's good to have debt, Diego. Yeah, Diego. Debt will set you free. Debt, it's good to have debt. It's the only know. weapon you'll have against I... the US government, Diego. Debt. Yeah. If you're broke, the government's broke. They're bringing them exactly. down with you. Dude, exactly. I saw I saw something on Reddit. It was like our money or something on the homepage and the guy was like i'm in debt and i don't know what to do and like he posted like seven screenshots of like his different credit cards this dude had like 30 credit cards he was a hundred thousand in debt you just do the i declare bankruptcy meme jesus the only the, the fucked up thing is like what the only thing that's not bankruptable are student loans <laughs> you know i was just gonna say that out loud eddie can you believe that student loans are the only loans that can't be fucking forgiven or erased that's, and you can't the, refinance it and as the like only loans given by the government <laughs> exactly it's insane you can't refinance a student loan that's fucking bullshit but whatever that's another conversation but you no know what i, I, no, I heard today some loans you know what some people are I feel doing? Like not, which is very inequitable. No, it's very equitable, but in, inequal, yeah, unequal. You know what yeah. some people are doing now? Leaving the country? <laughs> no. Yeah. So the people that own properties at like 2.5%. Yeah. If you try to buy that today, you're paying what? Seven? Yeah, you're priced out. You're priced yeah. out. You're yeah, but you know, what's, you know what some people are doing? What? They're, you they're, out? They're, they're transferring the title. So they still think? they still own the deed at two point five percent, but they're simply selling you the title. The what? Oh yeah, no. So it's essentially transferring your loan, the rate you have over to someone else. It's called something else, but yeah, it's like a loan transfer essentially. So if someone were to let's say buy that condo that I have, and they wanted to get it at the the two eight whatever that I locked it in at, yeah. you can price you could factor that into the sale where it's like. I'll transfer it over to you for an additional amount, essentially, and you just take over my loan. So then they yeah, affect you would pay still... a higher sale price, but they still have the same monthly. 
yeah, the monthly would be the same. Essentially, they're Lowlands, getting it at you, you would prices. still you would still own. I can't remember if it's the deed or the title, but you would still own one of those. Mm -hmm. So something like that. That sounds like how you create a fucking real estate bubble because it shows as like on MLS, it'll show that you have still have the high buy price. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not something that's probably going to happen on like a massive scale. No, because, this like, is, you can't do that with this is like family to family shit. I'm assuming. Well, yeah, right. and this is like it's a lot of trust things. So yeah, please. this is also like real estate deals, like big buildings kind of thing, where it's like, look, I want out of this property. No assumable one's loans. Sorry, that's what it's called. I knew it was called. No something. one's buying. Loan. No one's yeah. buying because it's seven, eight percent interest, right? Yeah, which is bullshit. But this guy wants to buy it at the fair market value, but he won't do it if he's got to pay eight percent. So apparently, people are doing this now. He should just have more money then. Yeah, just well, be yeah, richer. Just, stop being yeah, poor. Just have more money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You broke fuck. No, people are. Can you believe that people are still buying in this economy? People are actually signing loans for seven, eight percent. It's fucking yeah, but nuts. They're, they're doing. They're looking ten, fifteen years beyond, and they're saying, yeah. "Surely yeah. I can refinance down the line." Yeah, um, that's true. I'm you know in what a position. I'm in a position where we probably could get something bigger and better. But the budget would definitely constrict. And if in reality, if we if we move today, it would be a lateral move and we'd be paying more. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense. So that's why I mean that's why it's the really fucked real estate market right now. Because there's low volume on the market. And <laughs> so it's just like and everything is extremely expensive. There's low supply because nobody wants to move, and there's low demand because nobody wants to buy, but then you just have a few people. Who really need to buy at the moment right now? They're just getting completely fucked. Yeah. yeah. Well, right, think about right this. in the ass. Think about this. All right. So here's your two options: you can buy at six percent, right, and pay the piper, or you can rent for the next ten years. Do the math on how much money yeah. is down the drain after ten years versus the potential equity you have by buying at five percent. So it's yeah. still. It's, 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 unless you're one of the cities where it's not economical to buy, mm. it is all. It's usually if you if you basically if you're not in New York City, it's almost always better to buy unless you're unless you're not planning on living there longer than five years. If you're gonna Eddie, only live there for less than five years, you're gonna get fucked. It's like Eddie's living in my brain. I was immediately gonna bring that up right now about the New York thing where it's like you're. It's better to actually rent in New York versus yeah. fucking buy. There was that article that came out like two years ago about it, right? Where they were saying like if you yeah. actually run the numbers on it it's stupid to purchase in new york yeah. in today's market unless unless you're looking for a store value and yeah. you're and then you're like already do you want like you want some diversification of risk yeah i mean ideally you just sort of take you just sort of you find you find ryan mm -hmm. and you sort of just corner him and you steal his rent control department so yeah says, so this was it damn 80 and 90 percent of mortgage payments in the first five to ten years is interest your analysis is totally flawed. that's a hundred percent correct i was yeah. just looking at time my mortgage out. today time i was like out, Fuck, this out, is all out. interest this is if all you interest i'm throwing it at god yeah, damn it no 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 if you put a big enough down payment though yeah you, you get beyond that right so you still have to be smart you can't just say what's my budget and then put like ten thousand down like yeah you got to yeah. put a big chunk down I mean, that I, equity immediately I, potentially and then yeah i can't remember what the term was called um is it the ppi like your uh, first yeah pr uh, the protective first pmi protective PMI, mortgage PMI only, PMI only applies if you're doing an uh fha i thought yeah first time home buyer or even yeah, if you're you getting know, less than 10 percent down then then they PMI is expensive. PMI some, can like 10 or 15 percent on your monthly right there's yeah I, I had pmi mortgage. for a little bit yeah, PMI. Yeah, there yeah. you go. And I don't PMI. think it's for your first purchase only. I think it's for any purchase. Yeah. You have to have crossed the threshold of your balance. And then once you pass that, then every mortgage payment substantially goes towards the principal more. Listen, Rose just broke it down very simple. Stop being poor. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. You Stop just can't be poor. poor. If you just had more money, you wouldn't have this problem. Exactly. And Either Stella way, says, why would you want to put a lot down that's high opportunity cost in exchange for lower payments? Well, look, never claim to be a money analyst or anything like that. I, 
we we made a lot of let's money. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's make it clear. Diego doesn't know how to buy stocks, so we should <laughs> take that yeah. with the greatest salt. <laughs> Every time we sold, we made a bunch of money, and we always threw that towards the next place. And our mortgage has been the same for, I don't know, eight years. Since, yeah. You know, and, and we've just been upgrading every time. So Diego invests in gold in the railroad system. And Diego invests in cash in his mattress. Yeah. That's a true story. <laughs> That's, a true story. <laughs> That's a true story. You're, you're uh, burying money in a backyard? No. So the, uh, I want to say, the second place we bought. Mm -hmm. This is a great story. This I want I want Rose to hear this story, but you know, the second place we bought, the three years we lived there, every bonus I got, I would cash it because I knew if I deposited it, I would spend it. So I had like twenty five, something like that, thousand dollars in my bedside table in hundred dollar bills. And when it came time to put, you know, working with the, the mortgage broker for the new place in Atlanta. He's like, all right, so you want to put how much down? And I'm like, well, like, I don't know, at a minimum 20,000 and whatever we make when we sell this place. And he's looking at my accounts. He's like, so you got checking? Yeah. Credit cards, you're okay. No debt there. Do you own any other assets? And I'm like, no. He's like, do you have any other accounts? And I'm like, no. He's like, where's the down payment coming from and i'm like oh it's cash and he's like okay so you have another account Wh which account i'm like no like cash he's like you mean like money, money? and i'm like yeah hundred dollar bills and he's like jesus christ do not deposit that money stop 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 stop, stop, stop. i'm like what man i'm like people buy homes for cash all the time <laughs> yeah and he's like that's not what it means and i'm like oh Okay. <laughs> you have to pay taxes on that when you do it. If you put it in over ten grand to your bank account, it immediately alerts the IRS. You have to, you, the, the, you have to, like the bank fills out like a special form, whatever. It yeah, is. yeah. Diego effectively like unlaundered his money. No, it's not. Come on, Diego. You got to fucking. You got to play the game, baby. Right. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars at a time. Right. MJ's asking Rose. I'm six years in with two hundred fifty-year note. Is that good? <laughs> You know, that's funny. Yeah, you're all you're all gonna make fun of me for saying this. Like my uh, my finances are incredibly simple. If you don't have the money, you can't afford it, and if you do, you can. And I've said this before: debt is a four letter word. And all these people who who make these arguments about good debt and thinking about this, people that talk about a mortgage rate, like a two percent or a three percent mortgage rate as an asset, those people are i mean they're worse than seiko collectors like eh, debt is always bad and if you if you simplify your finances and just think about assets and buy what you can uh, what you can afford is what you can buy in cash you'll you'll like life is so much better when you don't have recurring payments Oh, but life can grow so is. much faster. What would you say, Rose? What would you say is a proper percentage of your salary to go towards a mortgage? So I look at it a little bit differently. Um, I would say you should get a 30 year fixed and you should be able to pay that debt off in 10 to 15 years. Obviously, you get the 30 year fixed. But you pay that you pay that off in at a at a at the worst in half in fifteen years. Yeah, but we're buying watches, Rose. But what do you think? What do you think about financing a Dodge Hellcat on eighty four months with zero percent down? So, I mean, I think that basically any money that you put into a Hellcat is good money. Like. <laughs> Dude, it's the number one stolen car in the world. Exactly, which means they're rare. <laughs> <laughs> that means an owned an owned Hellcat is incredibly rare because they're so Ooh. stolen. I think that Ooh. basically, like, all Hellcats are just, I mean, 
No, I was just kidding. I was just kidding with that. I was just kidding with that. No, everyone, the true, memes like, are like, I'm going to buy a Hellcat. Hellcats are the both, they're the stupidest cars ever made, and that's why they're so awesome. Like, it's just, it's it's incredible. They're, they're zero to 60 times are so bad because of the tires spin so fast that you can't get traction to take off. I mean, it's it, it's like... I feel like if we all, if this if this community right here sat around and said let's make the most like awesome car but that's awesome at the at the same time like it's also totally stupid we would either come up with a Hellcat or like the uh the um what's the off-road Lamborghini Str- Stratata No the Yours? off-road Stratata Stratata yeah like Dude, one of those two cool cars Dude that thing is cool as hell that Yes of course so cool. Yeah it's awesome or, or did we come up with the what was that Jeremy Clarkson thing where you put the Jaguar on the Land Rover? Uh-oh, the yeah, elegance. Food is ready, um, Eddie. If you want, I can potentially make I want, you the, the give you the keys. Yeah, give me the keys permanently. Can you put your email in the private chat? All right. So you you'll probably you'll probably have to log out and log back in. Let me okay. Just... Wait, Buckley's gonna come on too. Have Buckley hop on while I try to sort this. Okay. Well. All right. Well, I'll wait for Buckley to come on, and then you guys decide who's gonna run it. If you want, you don't have to keep running it, but you guys are having fun, so I don't want to end it on my accord. No, but but in response to America, I think like so many people are just terrible with actually knowing how to finance things and actually knowing how to like balance out their mortgage. But no, I think having debt, having debt is really important to scaling, right? Like that's the whole point of an LBO is to use other people's money. Hey, time out before you two start fighting. Um, do you want me to give them to Eddie for now, Buckley? Or give, do it you buck, give it the buck. Give it the buck. Give it a buck. Do you want to keep it running? When are you coming back? Oof. Maybe an hour. All right, nine p.m. Nine p.m. deadline. Um, Just text me if you guys need to end or something. Uh, yeah. Where, what happened to Rose? Can you You'll end it? Do, do you see the red button? Uh, can I? Yeah, I can end it. Okay, cool. All right. Well, just shoot me a text. See you guys. Yeah. Um. Nobody Rose pays, said he'll be right back. Nobody pays off their building and nobody puts down more than they have to to buy their building. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Nobody. No. And if I they have, could, they'd just buy a bigger building. <laughs> I have guys, I work with guys that are early 70s that own 40 buildings, commercial buildings. Not a single one of them are paid off. Yeah, I mean, and, and even once it does get close to getting paid off, they just refinance them and roll that money into something else. Well, yeah, the the, the debt money is tax free, so it's a yeah. hack. I mean, that's that's. I mean, game. And that's and that's the and that's the thing, right? If you are if you if you spot a really hot up and coming neighborhood, yeah, and you get a mortgage and you put five percent down on that mortgage. And then you're able yeah. to make profit, maybe one percent of that property's value a year, which is high. So you're assuming that things have gone well during the first months of closing. If you put five percent down and you're able to profit one percent off the property value, you're getting a twenty percent return on your money. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking right now. Like, I'm trying to buy a house. I'm looking for the shittiest house in the most expensive neighborhood, so I can play the game. Yeah, and right. that's and that's the other thing. Like when you talk about like flipping homes, right? So you buy a home at four for four hundred grand. Actually, I don't, I don't know how the fuck this works. But I'm, I'm only, I'm, I'm only imagine this. <laughs> but you buy a home for one million, you put two hundred grand down, you spend a hundred grand on renovations, you sell it for one point one point three, and all of a sudden you make two hundred grand on that. It's not even. It's, it's easier said even, than done. It's, it's even simpler than that. I mean, if you have the money. Right, that's the whole thing is you have to have the money. Yeah. Which is the hardest part. But a lot of these guys, you know, they buy something at five hundred that you know, comps of really good, you know, versions of that thing are between seven and eight, right? 
And like you said, they put 50, 100 into it. And then they get it reappraised, refinanced at eight. And then they get that down payment back tax free. Yeah. And then, and then they can just go roll that money into another property. Yeah. Now you own it for nothing out of pocket other than your, you know, fix up costs. Yeah. And I think that's, I think that's really interesting too, because you can, you can find some unique buildings that were built in the early nineties, late eighties that do have an open concept or like a slightly tiered open concept. And then you can just blow out half a wall and then put in some fucking vinyl flooring just fucking call it good start renting it out yeah it's hard though i mean the the numbers are astronomical in uh in new like if you ever listen to these real estate guys that are killing it right now and slaying all of it is being done in florida texas alabama vegas tennessee right you can't do this in First of all, it's hard to do in blue states. Second of all, they're too expensive. You can't do this. They're not growing. They're not growing. I mean, you need to find a city that is growing rapidly. Right? It's hard. It's really, really. Like, I look at <clears throat> one in New York. It's fucking impossible. Like, yeah. I'd have to have, like, $5 million in the bank just to even attempt it. <laughs> I mean, and this is, I think this, this is another thing, at least from my perspective on real estate. Everybody who's entering any project to make money needs to have an edge and if you're just a fucking dude that wants to invest in real estate and you don't have an edge i feel like you just get absolutely destroyed you just get burned yeah you're gonna get you're gonna have you're gonna have one bad tenant and it's gonna cost you like the, your last years of work all you the need- profit you made is gone because some dude spoke telepot in the house and just fucked up all the drywall yeah it could be that it's also by me a big problem is property taxes right the yeah. property tax the average property tax in my neighborhoods are between a thousand and fifteen hundred a month right that eats up a lot of that cash flow you're not you can't buy a single family home and then rent it out and expect the cash flow it's impossible yeah i mean with single family homes i feel like a lot of the money that you make is just in property appreciation you have to go to this like those really shitty multifamily homes to actually cash well it depends because the the hack that a lot of these guys use or did use that it's hard to do it now is you add a bedroom on like you buy a shitter that's a two make make it a flex add a add a third or (coughs) add a third or a fourth and then if it's in a rough neighborhood you can section eight it right and then you get you get tax credits to lower your taxes and then you get I think you get 600 per bedroom or 800 per bedroom from the government. And then the similar advantage. Yeah. So you're getting, what is that math? You're getting between 2,400 and 3,600 from the government for that family to live there. And then they have to lay out an additional 25% and you get the tax credit. So you're making out well, but this is what I want to know. I want to know how do you get in the rooms? Where they have the conversations of where to put the next subway stop. Oh, that's that's called corruption, my friend. <laughs> you have to is, be- it, is it corruption? Is it corruption if you just know where they're going to put it? Well, not. It's not insider trading. Listen, where I am, it's unethical. In, in this state, there is no surprises, right? So that's. I mean, it obviously it happens in New York, but how do you, how the fuck do you get in that room? How do you get into like what the New York Tennis Club or something? no it's not even what it is if you're talking about construction i mean there's a multitude of websites where there's bidding going on years in advance right like they if you're looking at like the public works or anything like that the bidding is there they're showing it like this is 100 percent going to fucking happen and whoever can meet the criteria you're getting the job but then what happens if you submit your tender and you just fuck it up and there's no accountability well you usually have to have a certain amount of jobs under your belt but then like for all the projects in New York, like the new, like Lord of the Rings looking building, that was, no, wait, no, the subway, was it the train station? Well, you that can't was, like, more times over budget? You can't go by New York City because there is where the corruption happens because they want the unions to build the buildings and they're astronomically expensive, right? Like what you build a building for in China, uh, in like a good part of China where it's legit, right? Like it's like a real building and not fake. Building. It's a real building and not tinfoil, right? 
Yeah. They're doing it at a fifth of the cost because the union workers are not getting nearly, they're not getting nearly what they get here. And then the cost of materials and all that, right? And then the corruption, it's, I mean, it's, China's corrupt, but I have a feeling there's less hands in the pie than in New York City. So by the time you're done, fucking building that costs, I don't know, 50 million in China is 500 million in New York City. Yeah, it's crazy. Like when you look at the city of like Shenzhen, you look at 40 years ago, it was literally like a fucking village. Yeah. Imagine like <laughs> I'm trying to think of, well, like a village in Vietnam right after the war. Look, honestly, New York City, the, the mafia built New York City because they ran all of the unions. Like they had it under their foot and they did, you know, look, is crime syndicate. So there was crime and sketchiness, but they made sure everybody got paid and everything ran the way it was supposed to. To make they sure got, they got paid as well. They got paid as well but it was like if you look at what they actually made off of it they didn't make nearly nearly as much as the hands that are making it now like the percentage so what's where's the leak where's the leak now what do you mean the leak like when you look at these projects that go triple over budget what where's the money going is it just they underestimated labor and they, est- they underestimated labor hours and underestimated hourly costs. Well, the problem is the projects are in phases. So those phases, you know, it, and it, that doesn't happen as much as you think. Like, like Eddie Mav, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to dox him, but yeah. there's a lot of people in this community that do some sort of construction work, right? Yeah. And they do specific jobs. It can go over, but usually you don't want to go over because you don't want to piss the customer off, right? Mm-hmm. On these huge city projects, the corruption is going over. I mean, yeah, of course, but so I feel like in those those in those situations, those contractors intentionally underbid to win the tender, and then they go over. Yeah, I mean, I oh, uh, you let Rose back in. Yeah, I'm doing it. Now. There he is. Thank you. Hey, um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in that world, not really, and I won't go near, I won't go near anything that I know I can't handle, which is a lot of stuff in New York. Like, the island of Manhattan is a very exclusive club, and if you're venturing onto it to try to compete, you better be ready. So how do you compete in that club? You really can't. It's very, very difficult. You can compete in the crumbs. Right, you can compete in the crumbs where this this floor of this building, this tenant, whatever, you know somebody and you can get stuff. But if you're like like let's say tomorrow you win a billion dollars in the lottery, and you're like, fuck it, I want to take a hundred million into Manhattan and build an apartment building. Good luck, buddy. So what do you just dump a hundred million dollars into like a, a mayoral the mayor? a mayor candidate and then just have them sponsor you effectively? Well, my pay grade, but it's the same there is a thing that came out a few years ago and it was basically Manhattan was owned by like 12 guys, the whole Island, like 80, like 80% of what was worth owning in the commercial space was owned by like 12 guys, the whole thing, 12 guys slash families. Mm. Like you're not getting in. Like Trump is small beans in New York City. Small beans. I've worked with guys that have sixty buildings. Sixty imagine that? You have sixty fucking buildings that are thirty stories or more. <laughs> like you don't realize that's why I, the other point of this is like that's why I won't go into Wembe and try to talk to the tech. Like I laugh when people are like, Have you gone to go talk to the tech? Uh no. Why? Because I'm not a fucking retard. I won't go pick a fight with Mike Tyson either. So in response to Eddie Mav saying, when you win yeah. a bid, you sign a contract based on a set of drawings. Your price is legally bound to that drawing. If you underprice that you own it and you need to build it, then how did these projects go over budget? Well, they're all, so... I mean, obviously, if it's a private party... 
it depends on the pro- like i said it depends on the project i think you're thinking about the massive ones like the biggest yeah. one recently that went way over and it went over not only in money but in years it was supposed to be yeah. two i think it was two billion 10 years wound up being like six billion 30 years which was east side access to uh yeah. central station right so how the fuck does that happen uh, fucking i mean that's at a level that we're not equipped to even talk about that right you're at a different level i mean i can't or, even answer yeah i mean yeah or, the, or like maybe or like maybe well, as like evan g is saying like all right the moment the customer gives one slight modification and wants to change the deliverables just say yeah. like yeah double the time and double the money with the expectation yeah. that they are going to have to do that eventually yeah but if you do that you'll never get another customer that doesn't work yeah we pull two billion dollars and just leave doesn't work customer is always right yeah it's hard like right now um I mean, I'm, I'm not doxing myself because I don't live anywhere close to this specific spot, but there's a town out here called Hempstead, which is a bad, bad neighborhood. It's a disadvantaged community. It's got a lot of gang violence. It's a shithole. Uh, right outside of that shithole is Nassau Coliseum and Hofstra, Hofstra University, right? Recently they've taken a huge portion of the center of Hempstead they're leveling it and they're putting up a massive hotel right now this is happening so there's gentrification that they're attempting to do will it succeed I have no idea I would never go to Hempstead on a like I would never go there to hang out I don't know who would but apparently someone who's a billionaire who's a lot smarter than me knows that that is going to be a spot Well, did he know it was going to be be the spot, or did he make it the spot? Well, it's definitely not even close to the spot yet. But (laughs) to be to be knocking down the amount of buildings they're knocking down and the size hotel they're building, I mean, you know, you're talking about a hospital-sized hotel here. It's not normal. Maybe they're planning on housing a lot of refugees there and winning a big government contract. Well, that's a huge thing that's going on in Brooklyn and Queens is there's all these contractors that are going in there and repurposing stuff, you know, every day. And they're getting government money, which is always better than fucking, you know, private money. I feel like... So so wait, on that point, sorry, sorry, I would say one thing because I can't, I can't not respond to Evan in the chat. Um... You're, you're exactly right, Buckley, which is bi- corporate money and, and government money is totally different. And Evan's saying, I've never worked with defense. And we made the, we made the strategic c- decision to never, never go after government money, never work with the government because a government dollar is totally different than a business dollar. Yeah. They, they, they spend differently. They smell different. Terms are totally different. Um, and he's exactly right. It's totally different. It's a fucking bitch. Now, if you can do it, if you can actually get it done, and you're set. But good luck. Do, good luck doing it. If yeah. you're not minority, woman-owned, fake corporation, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know. Are you, you saying I know. these people are probably on Epstein's Island? You need to either be, to get the government, no. you got to be a veteran or you got to be minority owned or you got to be corrupt as fuck and know somebody that's the only thing yeah if you can tick those boxes the the second one he said if you can tick boxes i know people i know people that own consulting companies and literally they can't they can't tie their shoes i mean these people these people get up in the morning and they're they're to, to call them morons would be a compliment, but <laughs> they have found a few people who have security clearance and they've hired them to do nothing more than just write proposals for government consulting contracts 
and they know how to play the system and they are doing projects. I can't make this stuff up. They are doing seven figure consultancy projects. Like they'll do an engagement for, for a million dollars and their hard costs, their hard costs are 50 grand. I mean, it is, it is moronic what some of these people are doing. We did, I mean, I can't say too much or I'll dox myself. I did, I did a few government contracts only because we worked with another firm who would do the paperwork and figure it out and navigate the bureaucracy. And what these people were paying, there were moments where I literally said in the meeting, wait, 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 stop, stop. Like, are you stupid? And people said, no, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. It's a government contract. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like if you know, if you, if you can figure out how to navigate that and many people have that it's, that's your ticket. Yep. It's absurd. It, I've seen shit too, where I'm like, they're getting what? Right. They're getting like something that's a hundred dollars. They're getting 400. Yeah. That movie with, um, that arms, that arms trading movie with, um, Oh, uh, War Dogs. The artist, War yeah, Dogs. yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome movie. Obviously, it's a it's a caricature, but it's based on truth. It's 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 very true. Yeah, it, both those guys were real. They were real business partners and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Hey, well, what are we talking about? We're talking about getting real corrupt so that we can buy all the watches. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's break some rules, fellas. So we just gotta catch like the mayor naked in bed with on Epstein's Island. Wait, what? <laughs> How the fuck did we get there? It's the, it's the next logical step. All right, getting naked for money. Okay. No, sure. no, no. Blackmailing people. Blackmailing. Oh, blackmailing people. Like this whole P Diddy situation. They're talking about Ashton Kutcher is going to be in trouble next because of yeah, this. Sure, and Jay Z. Do I heard? You think so? Man, this is going to be crazy. Oh, how the fuck would I know? I'm not in Hollywood, but Jay, a lot of I mean, people. Just, are you just catch it early and you deep fake somebody's face, and they're like, "What is that? Is that Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein at P Diddy's party? Is he still alive?" Oh my god, is that Lolex at P Diddy's party? How did he get there? Oh my god. Dude, all I know <laughs> is I am shocked at like how is it that the whole fucking Hollywood is in on this shit? I mean, every I don't wait, 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 wait. I don't get what you mean. So. What are you surprised about? Are you surprised about the fact that people in power are taking advantage of, of, of no, other people? I'm, I'm not so like, look, if P Diddy, listen, if P Diddy and some of these other guys are pulling Me Too scandals, I'm like, all right, I, you know, like, okay, like, it's not good, but I'm not surprised. Where do you think that name came from? Where do you think the name P Diddy came from? It was originally P E D. P Diddy. It was originally like, it was originally. <laughs> His original name in the in the rapper community was PP Diddy, and then they changed it. I mean, it was it's been happening forever. I guess I don't understand why people are surprised. Well, Very it's, cool. it's shocking to find out that the second or third richest rapper, maybe first, I don't even know, he's up in the top five, was drugging an entire party's champagne, and then you know that no, but. Like, but let, like, look, this is, I'm, this is going to get the, this is going to definitely get the stream demonetized, but like not, we shouldn't go there, but let's go there for a second. Bill, Cos Bill Cosby was America's father. I know. Everybody loved this guy. Everybody says that maybe it's an age thing, Rose, but like, I don't remember Bill Cosby. I didn't watch the Bill Cosby show. So I don't know. It how was the only, it was the only show. Um, so like, my father, my, my father spent his entire life working for the man, came home pissed mm -hmm. as F mm -hmm. and would never like, would never watch a sitcom. Like you watch the news or get out of the room. And the only show that he would tolerate was the Cosby show. And there were a lot of families, like there were a lot of middle-class Rust Belt families whose fathers weren't going to watch this, you know, this, this crap. But they all like, they all the, the Cosby Show got a pass. Um, mm -hmm. It would be was racist. Like 
the Cosby <laughs> show, the Cosby show to America is what, um, uh, what's that guy? Uh, Don't oh say. God. Um, you say a TikToker? Yeah, no, I was say, who do you, it was what is what Hootie and the Blowfish is to like, you know, uh, uh, Darius, uh Dar Darius Rucker. Ruckus? Yeah, Darius like Darius Rutger yeah. is the is the one guy that every every white person in America is like, no, 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 like I, I know black people. He I transcends to race. I listen to Dar I listen to Hootie and the Blowfish. Um <laughs> Yeah, he did. Like, he, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't think Buckley or Eddie listen to Hootie and the Blowfish. No. No, definitely not. You don't, you, don't, you guys don't like Hootie and the Blowfish? I don't know. I don't no. even know what they've done. Oh, look they at me. We come from different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my hand. Dude, what is it? What kind of music is that, Rose? I don't even know. Is it like, uh, it's not so they, It's like, uh, it's, I'd say it's college rock. So they were a Clemson, yeah. they were a Clemson college band. Yeah. So South Carolina college rock that finally made it. Um, okay. And not to not to date myself, um, I had a, I had a friend at Clemson when uh, when like they were the college band that everybody loved, and you would go down there and you would put your you would wear navy blazer, khakis, and Timberland hiking boots. This was the thing, and like go down there and party, okay. um, and it was a it was a total scene, and everybody knew. This guy is going to like you look around and you look at all these southern white dudes and their dads and moms sitting around listening and dancing to Hootie and the Blowfish. They're obviously they're obviously going to make it. And mm -hmm. they they had their moment. And Darius Rucker now, he's very open now that the band has broken up. He plays weddings all the time and he's very open about it. He'll play any wedding anytime. The price is a million bucks. Do you know how many Southern families there are, Southern dads down there who are swimming in money, generational wealth, that when their when their little daughter says, "Oh, I'd love if I'd love if Hootie and the Blowfish could play my wedding," he'll be like, "So you know what?" He'll be like, "You know, so so it is said, so let it be done. Like, let's just make it happen." That guy. That guy. Answering in the affirmative. Yeah, didn't he do guy, a cover? He did a cover of Wagon Wheel that got really popular, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that yeah. guy, that guy saw the business, and that guy saw his path to, you know, half a billion dollars, and was like, "Yep, let's do that." Yeah, yeah. Who did the Blowfish good for, rocks? Good for him. Good for him. Yeah. But I don't anyway, want to be with you. Right. That was that, that was actually my <laughs> that was my favorite. That was, that was my, Dude, that if was I'm my drunk, favorite. if I'm drunk and someone puts that on, I'm fully yelling. I'm gonna that's yell my, that song my, so loud. That's my <laughs> that's my favorite hootie song. That rules. That's such a yeah. good song. Buckley, you there's don't like Hootie about, and the Bowfish? Come on, man. There's some know. line like I'm bad with the dolphin the dolphins make me cry. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Buckley listens to like German, like house music, <laughs> like metal house music. Just whatever you need, whatever you need to get you psyched up to lift weights. You know, I like uh, you know what I like in the background. I mm. like uh, like trance modern hotel vibe shit. What the hell what? was that, dude? Like, that sounds that, like, that definitely sounds like what P Diddy plays. That sounds like right over. Oh, Look, 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 if you went into like a the one hotel or something, they'd have like a yeah. modern oh, yeah. guild vibe going on. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite a it's not quite a club, but it's also not quite a coffee house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that in the background. I would have never guessed that out of you, Buckley. You know who's who's Spotify playlist? To Taylor Swift. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's either that or like you're so Staten Island. It's just nothing but Wu Tang Clan. So, wait, I'm not, so Staten I have a. Buckley, oh, you're not. Buckley, I would have guessed Staten Island. Buckley, <laughs> Buckley do you own? <laughs> Buckley, do you own? Um, do you own Timberland boots? No. Do you own a? Do you own a navy blazer with gold buttons? Fake gold buttons? No, no, no. no. I do have a navy blazer. No yeah, I know. Uh, and have I owned Timberlands? I have. I don't currently own them. 
Do you own boat? Do you own boat shoot like uh, um, dock siders, oh, yeah. top siders? Fucking hate Sperry's. What's the connection? What's the connection? He's saying I'm a white Long Island boy. Oh, I thought I thought you could say P Diddy was like somewhat affiliated with those companies. No, you know I'm that? saying, and I'm saying I'm not sure you're actually white. Like, do you own a do you own a blue, a navy blue and like Irish green striped tie? No. No, I hate that shit. Do you yeah. love having eggs on your sandwiches? And well, listen, have <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The wife hates prep. She okay. Hates preppy, all of that shit. If she goes into a Brooks Brothers and she wants to vomit, right? So, so here's here's the most talent. So in summer, when you wear shorts, how short are your shorts? Like where do they? Where do your typical shorts end? Oh, they're right above the knee. Okay. They're not. They're not at the thigh. No, no. When he sits okay. down there by the balls, <laughs> the I, I, my, my legs are fucking massive, so I need to. I need room. Like I have a size. I'm. I'm like a size thirty-five waist, but I'm a thirty-eight forty leg. It's a problem. So okay. we have lots of stretchy pants and enter the room, Lululemon. <laughs> All right. It's hard. It's fucking hard. You let, Buckley, let Lolex in. What is, what is with you people? Can you fucking stay on? What are you Dude, it's my for? mic. Dude, I'm. you know what, what it's like when a dog, you're holding a treat in front of them, and they're just fucking holding back, like fucking attacking because <laughs> they want to get the treat? You guys are talking shorts right now. I'm freaking out back here because I have strong opinions on shorts you wear and where they should land. Basketball oh. shorts. Seen it. No, no, no. no that's bullshit. Think only capris should exist. No, no, no. You okay, know? first of all. Shorts, right below the knee. That's where they're supposed to no. sit. They're oh, never so above the Adam knee. Sandler bullshit. Never no. above the knee. That's crazy. No. No, yes. That, you don't go below the knee. What do you? No. Nuts? No. No. Don't below the knee. Goes below. No. A uh, fucking every every guy that grew up in the okay. mid two thousands. Lolex saw, saw way too many Adam Sandler movies and never <laughs> let it go. No, <laughs> what he true. does is outrageous. He gets like the big wide ones too. Obviously, you get them a little form fitting that well, you actually get fit your body. Ones below the knees, like you just roll up your capris. Is that what you do, Lola? Yeah, exactly. Like I'm going to a watering hole. No, like basketball shorts. Like if I'm wearing them, they go a little bit below, below the knee. But uh, I know certain people calling out Diego. They go way above the knee. They're yeah, almost Diego. like mid thigh. That's too much to me. Diego, needs if you help. got the if you got the thighs, no, if you got the thighs, man, you got. Yeah, you, you rock. You rock. Thought. You rock it. You want to rock it so that your shorts are like. You want to rock it so that like. You your, pee -pee, your your pee pee wouldn't hang out, but it technically could. You want to be. You want to be. That's. You want to be basically. Look at a picture of Magnus. Magnus. <laughs> 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 I feel like a lot of these guys, man. I see if these you look shorts. At, you cough, a testicle is popping out for sure. <laughs> like, you, like, it's crazy. Here we go. Just, here we go. I'm just wearing Google, Google. Somebody pull up. Who can? Can anybody share screen? Pull up a picture of Magnum PI. What are we doing Magnum, here, Buckley? Yeah, go Magnum a little bit farther wrong. back. A little farther back. See, that's no, acceptable. No, no. That's a no, little modern. Way but too, you're right way at too the low. knee. Way you're too right low. at the way knee. No, I go a little bit lower. Call me crazy. I go a little bit lower. You need another, like two inches higher so this gets show off your quads a little bit more. Yeah, no, show off those, those fucking quads. thigh meats. No, 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 no. I want you to know I'm ha this. Con I'm having this conversation at the club <laughs> in the hotel, and there's these moms all around as I'm saying this that are staring at me, looking at me like I'm a. So we're talking about PGD instead. T a fucking degenerate, but that's fine. But like, no, you want to put somebody. Who can share a screen? Pull up Son a picture of a of bitch. Pull ah, up a picture headphones. of Magnum PI. Magnum PI. All right, oh, I'll be right way, back. It keeps cutting no, no, out no, my headphones. Short. That's way too short. Magnum that is PI. that is what men are supposed to wear. In fact, no, most most. I mean, most men just life is about basically trying to become Magnum PI. <laughs> that's what you should be rocking. No, dude, this is hella haram. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> That's way. Need at least listen. another. Rose, you <laughs> you're, you're, please tell me. Please tell me. Please yes. fucking tell me. You're What's not up? a guy. Please tell me you're not a guy that wears a button-down shirt and tucks it into the shorts with a belt. 
No, no. A button-down shirt with shorts? No, never, never. There are many people. I have a funny feeling America is one of these people. Yeah. But they will wear a button-down shirt, and they will tuck it into shorts and put a belt on with both shoes. No. So, look, I figured out uh, I'm old enough to accept what I can do and what I can't do. And there are looks that I rock that I that I don't like, but I know this is the best I can do. And so, like, in summer, the best I can aspire to is looking like at any minute I got to leave and go play Pebble Beach. And so I'm, I'm rocking the golf shirt and the golf shorts tucked in with a golf belt. And I'm not saying I love that style. I'm not saying it's good oh, or bad or oh, anything. Oh, you tuck it in? Oh, fuck. You can't tuck it in. So, the, no, I tucked, so I, I couldn't tuck it in for years. And then when COVID happened. What happened? What happened? When co no, when COVID happened, I lost my, um, so I always carried an extra jar of cookies on my belly. And when COVID happened, mm. I started like really exercising. Um, and I've, I've said this speech before, like I exercise, I exercise more than anybody else in this community. I will go out and say that I, I will go out and say that full stop. If people know, if people knew what my regime is, the only thing you would say is, how are you not, how are you not jacked? Like what I do during the week is insane. Um, and so I got rid of my, I got rid of my dad belly. And so once you get rid of the dad belly that you've had for so long, you always want to tuck in because you always want to show everybody like straight, look, <laughs> look, look, straight down, straight down, look. Um, and you tuck in extra tight and you kind of like, in the elevator anywhere you're like yeah looky like look you look you see straight down shirts tight you know i don't i have like um i have a two pack yeah i have like a two pack like up at the top up at the top i have a two pack um are you talking about your breasts or are you talking about something else no it's like <laughs> kidding, kidding. the two the, two, yeah, the top the top two abdominal muscles are clearly defined so I have like a two pack and underneath that are, is like a, you know, like a, you know, a, a, a pouch, a block. Yeah. A pouch. No, it's not a pouch. It's like a, an ice pack. Like it's flat. It's definitely flat. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> but you, it's like there's a water muscles. Here. Well, like, look, let's be honest. Everybody knows abs are made. They're not abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. And as much as I work my ass off Monday to Friday, on Saturday and Sunday, I eat like a, a degenerate. Like if you saw the things I eat on Saturday and Sunday, I mean, I, I put in the group chat a, 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 a box of Bojangles. Like I, I just, I'm a, I'm a addict on the weekends. Yeah. Like if, if I can't walk past, on the weekend, on Saturday, I can't walk past a Chick-fil-A and, and be like, dude, we got, let's, let's just stop in for a second. Anybody, anybody need any nugs? Like, let's go in and get some nugs. Um, is so good. I love it. I love it. Yeah. My problem is not, I don't crave fast food very often. My problem is I'll just, I'll get into the pizza and pasta and I don't stop. Right. And. And but the wine the I'm drinking, the wine I'm drinking is all, that's all sugar. That's the other thing. Freaking alcohol is, it's not, it's not good for you. That's a haram. No, it's not. It's a lot of calories. Buckley, can you drop the link for? Yeah, just the do looks? Or Diego's dropping it. Oh, oh that's me. Oh, I'm as Diego. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather uh, be a little bit fatter and eat than be thin and not eat. But I'll also never be thin again. I don't have. Have thin you accepted in me. that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I don't have thin in me. Like I, I got. You know, I don't have that. I could be lean, but I'll never be thin.
I gotta take a picture. Can you hear me? Yes. I gotta take a picture in a second. The club has those, um, you know what they put the wine bottles in and it's like self-serve wine, but they set it up like soda, like a soda fountain where you just push the oh, buttons. Oh yeah, you thing on the and it comes, the Yeah, you push the buttons and it comes out. Um, and then you're just supposed to push it once and it does like a, a really small pour. And I'm literally the guy going in, getting a plate of brownies and just holding the button down until it fills my glass up to the rim. And everyone's staring at me like I'm the- Are you using a pint glass? Hold on a second. I, I gotta get my phone. I left my phone on the balcony. Hold on. You have no idea how much of a degenerate I am. Hold on a second. There you go. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Get another one. I can't put I can't put other I can't put the strangers on stream. So hold on yeah. a second. I got to turn. Yeah, I'll figure out my. Are camera. they hot? Um, I can't answer that question without getting kicked out. You can say no. just say just say watermelon. Oh, if they're dude, wait. <laughs> uh, like cantaloupe? Like yeah, like almost. But I logged, uh, I logged in on you. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different fruit. Adjacent. It's adjacent. It's adjacent to hot. It's adjacent. Right. Wait, I'm on YouTube, so I can't. Oh, I can't do my. Hold on a second. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, here we are. All right. Oh, Lola, what are you doing? Well, that. I, I can feel how annoyed Buckley is with having to let me in and fucking. Oh, no, so. I'll get but, keys, Buckley. Don't on, worry. Full screen, full screen, full screen. Don't, don't full screen, don't full screen. <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's do it. What are you doing? Don't full screen. Don't full screen. What are you doing? We're showing guys your two pack. Do full screen. Hold on a second. Dude, whip it out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you're going to show the fucking what's going on. <laughs> why does Rose always look like he's in like a hotel lobby or somewhere fancy? He's in a he's hotel. Fucking hotel lobby. <laughs> That's so funny. Just That's jet setting around the world. That rules. So I got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I got the like. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah oh, damn. Yeah, that's bad. I've been seeing those pop up more and more lately. Yeah, they're oh. not, they're actually, they're not good. It's not a good thing. Um, it's not good for the wine, but uh, it's, I, I do like the self-serve. And then if there's no rosé, you can actually make yourself, you can make a homemade rosé so you can blend yourself make a little blend and that really pisses the people off in the club when you do um you know what they used to call uh, a kamikaze which is when you at the soda fountain when you did a little bit of everything did you ever do that like, uh i've mixed sprite before, but i never did a kamikaze oh kamikaze was like sprite coke diet coke root beer everything oh blah, the blah. soda kamikazes I thought we were talking about yeah. a drink. Yeah, it's, it's where you take your drink of the soda fountain and you just go just across yeah, the board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes if I want a little rosé and there's no rosé, I do a kamikaze rosé. <laughs> um, you just add everything. You make, you, make your own, you make your own red blend. Yeah. I, make a little, I make a little house blend and that really pisses people off. Yeah. Dude, and, I, and they always go, too. I go, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They go, no, no, you shouldn't. I go, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know how you do it multiple days in a row or the amount that you do in one day. I My stomach just doesn't want that. It can't fucking digest it. Can't yeah, I've it. been drinking since I started on Thursday. Um, I've been going <laughs> strong. Yeah, I started uh, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> started on Thursday, yeah. That rules. And I'll go all week. And then I'll stop on Saturday. Now, normal, this is just because, like, we're doing, it's a spring break. Normally during the, I don't touch normal weeks. When it's a school nights, I don't have a drop. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I work my ass off and I won't, I won't have a drop. Um, I moved, you know, um, like I moved the Red Bar meetings to Fridays because I won't, I won't have a drop on a school night and then obviously you've seen what I do on Friday nights. So yeah. people think I, people think I drink a lot, but if you average it out, 
I drink a lot less. I drink a lot less than a lot of people. How many drinks do you have on Fridays? How many bottles is the better answer? Yeah, I don't. I don't think in terms of drinks. I guess I would say I'm at the point in my life where I don't know what a drink is. I I, I drink. I probably go through. So here's the here's what gets real bad. So I stop drinking. Um, so like, so you pre-drink. So you have cocktails. So you have a couple like when you're getting ready to drink. You have a couple of Negronis or a couple of beers to get in the mood to drink. And then I'll have a bottle, which is like a cocktail drink. And then I'll have a bottle that's like prepping for dinner. And then if it's Friday and I'm at home and I only drink again, when, I, when I'm drinking too much and people are commenting that I'm a degenerate, everything's done, work is done. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not driving. And if I have too much, like kids are asleep, my jobs are done. I'm, You're I'm done. You're responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Like I won't touch. I'm adamant about like, if I have to drive somewhere, I won't touch it. And if I am going to drink, we, you know, we only Uber or whatever. Um, I'm a very, very responsible alcoholic. You just said you have a couple of beers then you have a, a bottle as a cocktail, and then you have another bottle prepping mm -hmm. for dinner. So, that's and then we have the di then we have the dinner bottle, which is the good bottle. That's the best bottle. I love the dinner bottle. I love the dinner bottle because it's always a good one. Okay, and then we do another one after dinner. And then and then so like my, my favorite board. thing to do, one of my favorite things to do on a Friday night is drink more, is relax sit back sit back with i i love hanging out with my family i uh, i love it and so we'll sit back we'll relax our favorite movie to watch is ratatouille um and you can't watch ratatouille and not drink because the entire movie is about food it's about food and paris and so to me it's about wine so you'll have a you open up a bottle you open up a bottle and drink with that and that's why at any moment i could give Name me a scene from Ratatouille, and I could I could just launch into. In many ways, the work of a critic is easy. We risk very little. I could I could I could recite that movie back and forth, and then this is where it goes downhill. So at that point, <laughs> bottle five. At that point, at that point, I'm just like I'm making funny jokes in the text, right? I'm in the chat, and I'm making funny mm -hmm. jokes, and like I figure I don't land them. I'm landing. I'm landing two out of three. Right. Like I, two out of three, if it's a bad night, one out of three, I don't land them all. Some of them are hilarious to me and obviously I don't land them. Um, but that's fine. What's bad is, so then put everybody to bed. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not driving. The week's done. I have no responsibilities. And then what I do is I open up a bottle of rosé. And those are the days, those are the nights when I come on and I'm, and I'm so, me. So, and that's, that's, yeah, that's when I start going off. That's when so, he comes alive. Okay. So, <laughs> that's when Paul becomes Rose Paul. Yeah. Let me ask, let me, let me just give you some information yeah. here. There's 25 ounces of alcohol in one bottle of wine. So you're knocking out a minimum of a hundred ounces of alcohol on a Friday night. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a fucking lot, dude. Holy yeah. shit. How many times do you go to the bathroom? Yeah, like you a must lot. wake up with <laughs> you must have, Saturday morning. Saturday morning, you must have brown piss on the verge of dehydrating. So, here's the thing. so so two things I would say. One is so a night when we just when I go out with friends and we go out and we're drinking, I don't go to the bath. I don't go to the bathroom ever. My body, my body, when it sees that I'm feeding alcohol, it says 100 we, we, we got to hold. This is good. We hold. You hold on to this. You hold on to this. <laughs> like you know, if I have if I have three sips of coffee, my body goes, yeah, we filter this through. We get rid of it. 
we do our job. This is how it works. My kidneys are like, yeah, pass this through. But when I'm drinking wine, my body is like, hold on to this baby as long as you can. These are, these are special moments. In fact, I think my body, my body takes into account the specific drinks and the vintages that I'm drinking and says, hope, like, love that this is a moment. This is a moment. Hold on to this. Um, and then some of the worst nights, because I'm only drinking wine, wine and beer. People ask how I am the next morning. I'm generally, I'm not going to say I jump out of bed and sing, you know, good morning, but like, I'm, I don't really get a hangover because I'm not drinking booze. I'm not, you're never, you'll never see me up there drinking bourbon or vodka. Wine, wine hangovers are some of the worst. It doesn't bother me. My, my body loves that stuff. I, um, I stopped drinking booze two years ago because I was pouring I was pouring a sip like you're supposed to do and I was drinking it neat and I got into bourbon and then I started and then I thought well you're gonna get up and pour yourself two so just save yourself the trip pour yourself two and then I thought well you so you're gonna drink for the night save yourself a trip and just pour your glass and then one day I looked and I saw I was taking wine glasses and filling them up like you would drink a glass of wine, but it yeah. was bourbon. And I said, this is bad. This is bad. You That's can't, you bad. cannot drink bourbon like it's wine. Well, you have, you're doing a hundred ounces of alcohol and you're doing 2,500 calories across four bottles. It's uh, not, and then 750, 1.5. Can, can I just say that if that's I did that, I'd, fucking, that's, I would that's, be pissing blood for a week if I did that. There's oh, no way. I'd be dead. I would die. I would die. I would die. I did two bottles one night, and that was a fucking horrible decision. But like, there's where sugar. I'm not. Ugh. There's not that much sugar in it. Paul's been it's training one. for this his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, no. but I've like, I mean, while we've been, I've had a bottle, so I've had, I've had five glasses while I've been chatting, so that's a bottle. I mean, I moved, so the self-serve thing, they have two of each bottle. So I had to move to the second bottle. Um, but again, I never, I never drink when I've got responsibilities. I only drink when I've got nowhere to be, not driving, got no responsibilities. I'm on vacation, you know, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm open. I'm open to the criticism. Is it should 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 I should I drink less? Obviously, yes, I should. But yeah, I, I I also sort of feel like if God didn't want us to drink, it wouldn't taste so good. Like there's there's I well, don't it drink. It doesn't taste good, Rose. <laughs> so I, I totally I totally to disagree. I you totally know, disagree. It Not for me at all. Yeah. I love good. I love the taste of good red wine to the point mm -hmm. that when we go out to a restaurant, the wine list is 10 times more important to me than the menu. I don't care. Like, I'm going to get a steak. It's going to be fine. It's not going to be as good as I could cook it. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> the wine list is so much important more important to me if there's if they if they don't have decent wine at a, at a fair price that's the other thing is like if i go to a restaurant and the wines that are good so it's after lent so i these don't cost me five dollars so if i if i go out to a, a, a good met a rest, guest restaurant and all the wine that's decent they're fucking you on the price mm. i don't care how good the food is i i like the, the restaurant sucks I don't care. It sucks. They should be offering good wine at a good value. And I understand the margins. I'm not arguing the margins of alcohol at restaurants. Like I get that game. Um, but like if you go, if you go to a steak restaurant and you can't get into a decent bottle of wine for under, for under $150, the restaurant sucks. They're fucking you over. Fuck that. Like mm -hmm. you're, 
fuck that. Yeah. Like, and there's wines. The thing is that every menu at every restaurant, there's wines the chef puts on the menu only for him or herself. And that the, the game is figure out those wines, figure out those wines that he's ordering for himself that aren't supposed to sell. And they're great wines. And later on, they're drinking them at night. Like it, and when you go to a, when you go to a restaurant with a shitty wine list, to me, it's like, I don't know. It's, it, it, it what would I, what, it, it's like, it's like, I don't know. It's like when I go into the Grand Seiko boutique. Like what's the, uh, what's, the, what's, the what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. What am yeah. I doing here? What am I doing here? Right. I look around. And I'm like, is what? Well, yeah. I gotta go. Can I? I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. Can I say something? I feel yeah. like that lately about Omega, specifically Speedmasters. When I see these yeah. fucking Swatch releases, this new Sto Snoopy thing, and I look at mine in the fucking watch roll, I'm like, what are we doing here? What is the point of this? Yeah, terrible. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Yeah, I want to... I really think I'm going to flip it soon, my Speedmaster. And get it out of the watch roll. So, Lo so Lolex. What's up? I, I, so, I have a I have a speedy... Uh, I call it a voice, first Omega in space. Okay. And I, I still have it because I feel like if you're a real collector, you got to have a Speedmaster. Yeah, everyone says that though, Rose. Like, right, and I so feel like that, that was perpetuated by Archie. So in the last, like, month, I'll you give know? you one guess. In the last month, how many times have I worn my Speedy? Zero. Never. Zero. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And what, but I, I feel like if I sell it, I'm not legit. I'm not legit. I'm not a real collector because every time the freaking I don't know why I feel this, but like every time. Freaking SpaceX launches uh, launches a exploding missile. You know, they, it launches a, a missile into space to monitor us. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to put on your Speedmaster, but Ugh, I don't know. What the, what the what the hell do I care? Like, I it's if you think about it. All right, hold on. I got a, I got a hot take. You ready? Yeah, let's hear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When I hear the word Speedmaster, I cringe because it's a gay name for a watch. So, so I here's my hot take, which is basically exactly what you're saying. I think that Speed an Omega Speedmaster <laughs> might be, it might be the douchiest watch in the like in the community. It might be the biggest tool douche watch you think so? because if well at first glance no it's obviously it's it it's the facade of mm -hmm. being authentic it's the facade it's the facade of like no i know i know and back when they cost six thousand dollars that was true mm -hmm. but now they're expe they're overpriced okay if if you want if you want to say if you want to go to a watch meetup and you want to say i think i'm smarter than you and I think I'm very important and I'd like to suck everyone a hodinky off. You wear a 36 Explorer or you wear a Speedmaster. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm throwing a hot take now. I don't think the Speedmaster is part of that, but I do agree with the 36 millimeter. No, uh, Speedmaster is 100%. There, there's, a, there's a hodinky belt curve. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. It's like it goes Speedmaster, 36 Explorer, JLC Reverso. Mm -hmm. And then you move to a Daytona, like a Panda, or you have like a vintage Daytona, mm -hmm. right? And then you move into having a fucking uh, minute repeater, right? And then right. You, the goal here is you're knighted as a douche. You actually get knighted as a douche if Tim Masso or Ben Clymer push the minute repeater on YouTube with you in the video. Then you're a knighted douche all across the world. Everybody's like, <laughs> but you have I to follow like... the inception, which starts with it starts with well, Speedmaster, we... 36 Explorer, JLC, and you got to move your way through the ranks. And only then will you be knighted by Tim Masso. Can we I agree feel... that there's there's no bigger indication that you're a man on your period 
unless if you're wearing a vintage Speedmaster on a leather strap, like you definitely, you definitely menstruate. Like it's I, the Rose, I just put my Speedmaster on a leather strap oh, an hour ago, oh, a full on hour ago. <laughs> so I get what you're saying, <laughs> I get what you're saying, but you're fully attacking me right now. No, are I you wearing? Are, wait, wait, wait. Are you wearing? Are you wearing? Are you wearing a fake leather motorcycle jacket listen. right now? A fashion motorcycle? No, Dude, no, no. I listen, wore, listen. I wore my Steve McQueen play. fucking <laughs> bullet jacket earlier. Lolex, What's it called a Harrington Lolex, jacket. Lolex has Lolex has the starter kit of douche. He has. Uh, I uh, do. Yeah. You have a Cayman, right? No. Yeah. What, what kind of Porsche do you have? I had oh. a Cayman. I don't have it anymore. What do you have? Yeah, but Lolex has always been. Series. Yeah, I've Lolex has always been. Oh. He's always been self. He's always been self-aware, though, man. He's always. Okay. Yeah. So, the ultimate douche, you need a minute repeater from Patek, and you need an air-cooled Porsche. So you'll get. The <laughs> I think it's more like basic. It's like you're a douche if you have a stainless steel sub, you dress no. like an asshole, and you drive no, a three six. series. No. That's if a douche. If you just have a stainless steel sub and you don't know anything, it just indicates you don't know anything. That's all it is. So the only the only thing worse the only worst thing worse than a Speedmaster on a or excuse me, yeah, Speedy on a, on a leather strap is a vintage sub. Oh, I was about to say that. On a leather strap, and if you if you wear a vintage sub on a leather strap, you definitely peg your jeans. You wear your, <laughs> you peg your jeans, and you're bringing back and you wear. Ironically, you wear Sebagos and and you just like when people when people ask you why you're showing up with a sport jacket on and fucking topsiders, you faint. You're like, it was just it's just yeah, it's just how I've always dressed, even though you only I, figured I it out, even though like, even so, though you only figured it out six months ago, you lie about the fact that you've always been cool, but you literally like. You figured other it out. There's there's other other indicators. So one of the one of the indicators is are your are your eyeglasses circular or square? So at a point if they're circular, are they circular and colored? Are they red? Are they green? Are they blue? If you have circular blue glasses, you rock. Uh, this is an, it's an accessory. You fucking it's an accessory rule. It's an accessory to douche, right? I'm, so these are Buckley, all the steps you need to take. Buckley, I'm wearing blue circular glasses in my avatar. <laughs> you realize that, right? Someone give me full screen. I'm fully wearing blue tinted sunglasses no, in my no, avatar. No, 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 no. Sunglasses is different. I'm talking about eyeglasses. So if you have circular eyeglasses that are yeah. blue, red, or green, right? You probably also have you're on your way or you have multiple <laughs> terms. Link for cats. Link for cats. <laughs> Link for right? cats. You yeah. you also most likely buy sneakers that are dirty from the factory. Oh, oh I get what that's you're the saying. worst. That's worse. Yeah. Okay? yeah. I get what you're you saying. You probably buy sneakers that are dirty from the from the factory. Okay. And you're on your way to getting an air cooled porch. And you're on your way to putting a bunch of books in your office that you're never gonna read. Right, but if they're there. Damn, for am I a fucking douche? I'm staring dude, at books that I've no, never dude. read. I have Lolex. a full bookshelf here with books I've never Lo read. Wait, wait, Lolex, Lolex, look, I'm, I'm a, I'm a bigger douche than you. So I only wear aviator. So I only wear aviator sunglasses. Of course, it's the move. No matter what, no matter it's what, like always, always. Um, always. I drive, I drive an AMG. Um, That's not like, douche. That's cool. I'm pretty cool. Wait, wait, and, wait, which AMG? Like a real AMG or one of the It's not a C. Rosé's no, not driving no, a C63 no, uh, AMG. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're Rosé, you're you're not categorizing this right. So you're not a douche. You're a fuckboy. And I'm in the same category. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. No. So, <laughs> my ultimate goal is I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a fucking full, full gold sky dweller. And I'm gonna drive a fucking X5 blacked out. I'm just a fuckboy mm -hmm. asshole. X5 That's rule blacked All out right? X5s. Listen, those are fucking so sexy. So that, that's being on. that's being a fuckboy. The douche. Right. That's something else. Like we'll never be knighted by Tim Moss or Ben Clymer. We'll never be knighted. You also have to be to fulfill this. You have to be under 190 pounds. Um, so I'll never make that weight cut. 
Dude, why, 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 why under, attack Lolex? Why you also attack need Lolex? under a seven inch wrist. I'll never make that cut either. So there's like a lot of things. Um, you know, there's a lot of things here that are very hard to do. Yeah. Uh, you also, you have to pretend like you love golf and tennis, even though you probably know nothing about it. And you also have to talk about various F1 racers that you've never seen. <laughs> okay. You pretend like you like F1. So like, mm. these are, listen, becoming a knighted douche is not easy. But... You're describing, you're describing half of me. So I'm definitely, um, <laughs> F, I'm definitely an F1 douche. Like we we love all we love all racing, all racing. We go to races, but we talk about when we talk about F1, we're we're total we're total ass bags. Like we're we're Max for Stapp, Like we're the douchiest F1 fans. We're Max for Stappen fans. We're total ass hats. Um, yeah. And then I wear. Like on Sundays, if we're going somewhere, I wear the I wear the rose AP Chrono, the rose gold AP Chrono, which is like You're it's very boy. it's a fuck <laughs> it's definitely a fuckboy watch. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think it's fuckboy the term, but I'll go with it. That's fine. No, it, I get what Buckley's going for. Like, just I've yeah. always said, just be honest, just be honest. Like, it's definitely a fuckboy watch. Um, I never. I never thought about it until now, until you really put it in perspective. Um, I always thought I was a douchebag, but I'm not. I'm actually just a, I'm a fuck boy. And tomorrow, to tomorrow, I'm going to think about, is that better or worse? I I'll think, tell you I don't think it's better. I think it's better. I think it's better. You could work in the same place. Like, listen, you get your, you get your degree in finance, right? And you can work in the same place as someone else, but what will happen is the fuckboy will say, I'm a broker. The douche will say, I work in finance. They won't call it finance, they'll say finance. Finance. <laughs> or and that's finance. You, know. you also know, do they use a buzzer from a barber to get a haircut, or do they go to a salon, have their hair washed, and then clipped, right? These are things, if you're going to become a knighted douche, you have to give up a buzzer. You give it up. I mean, you're not allowed to... There's no more Russian or Dominican barbershops for you. you. It's not part of the dress code. It's clipper cuts that are $100 from here on out. Right? Damn. I um, can't wait to start getting my hair cut at Dominican places. Yeah, Once and I you fully have, commit to being bald, your, it's going to rule. Your watch collection, all of your watches will be under 40 millimeters, and they will all be chronograph, annual calendars, and minute repeaters. That's all you're allowed to have. Archie Luxury you, Special. Do yeah. you realize how much these? So, I only get clipper cuts, and all my watches are under forty. Yeah, you're you're on your way. You're you're struggling with your identity. You don't know if you want to be a fuckboy or if you want to be a douche. You need to right. Play. But I would say you're headed to being a douche because you do run a red bar group and you run it in a major city. But I'd rather be. I think I'd rather be a fuckboy. I definitely no, I don't think so. You can't listen if you're a part of Red Bar. You're not even a part. You're like the head honcho. That is, dude, I, it doesn't do more. Douche. You guys got to come down. Here's what you need to do. These oh, are, look at this. The Boston collector. He's saying he's a chameleon. No, no. Boston. No. They <laughs> threw in the fuck boy. He's that's the a douche, that's a douche fuck thing boy. to say. So we can't he's do this. You, how do we figure out? Can someone make Diego go after street? Can we go after show? <laughs> I guess uh, the things we're gonna say we can't say out loud. <laughs> come on, come on! I want to go. I want to go after show because I want to talk about what I want to talk red bar. But we got to go after show. Uh, I right. can't. I can't talk it. So somebody, Rose, content. if someone super chats, we have to keep going. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, this no, no. This is excellent. I'm sorry, but I don't think fuckboy is it, Buckley. I don't think that's the proper term. Fuckboy is like. People under the age of 18 that dress like Justin Bieber. That's Dude. a fuck boy. Well, I have a different name for those people. I just can't say it online. Uh, pussies? Oh, I get what you mean. Uh, no, I, there's got to be a better term for what we're what we're doing here. Obviously, there's a douchebag, but then there's a subculture to the douchebag. Like a pretentious douchebag? Oh, uh, maybe. So, it's fuck boy. Wait, what am I watching it on? Well, you want you want to Diego? You want know what's great? Do you want to know what's great about the show? This entire chat we've had. 
Yeah. My 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 kid is sitting next to me, and tomorrow morning he's gonna say, "Dad, you're not a douche. You're a fuck boy." <laughs> like, thank you, son. Wait, I love really you too. quickly. In thirty words or less, what qualifies as a fuck boy? Oh, boy. Yeah, Buckley, go okay. for it. I'll, I'll, I'm I'm a fuck boy. A fuck boy is you like shiny watches that enter the room before you do. You like, like over detail. Like over detail. You like you like cars I, that you're most likely gonna lease and not buy because they they break. So BMW, okay. Audi, Mercedes, uh, right? You no. you lift weights. I'm holding because two have, fingers up. You have you have vanity. You care about what you look like, and then you also you get haircuts from a barber shop. You don't get clipper cuts. Um, yeah, you don't. That's, you doesn't sound. Wait, like wait. That. No, no. I'm you're actually. I'm, not, I'm a. I'm definitely not that. I'm a douchebag. I'm not a fuckboy. I'm definitely a douchebag. Yeah, you, you, you. But you're trying to. You're trying to figure yourself out, and that's okay. So, Dude. a douche. Prada, Prada just hit it. By the way, sorry. Didn't mean to. Uh, Cut you off, Buckley. But Prada just hit it on the head. That is the fuck boy. That is the 2024 fuck boy. Hodinky fuck boy. This is it. No, so you're mixing no, that's the Hodinky up. douche. You're mixing the fuck things boy up. drives like a Lamborghini Serato. You're right. Sorry. This Listen, is the fuck boy. No, no, no. Fuck boy is on the gray market side of the coin. Douche is on the Hodinky side of the coin. But yeah. this is it. I'm closing my eyes. I see this person. Air cooled Porsche. Basic white tee. That's that's a douche. That's a douche. Mo- mascot sunglasses or Oliver people. No, yeah. Common project white sneakers. Five Lola five Samir. one three on a NATO. No, perfect. That's douche. What that's is fucking perfect? Lolex and me are douche. We're douches. We're douches. We're not. No, we're, I'm, yeah, I'm we're spaz. definitely douches. I'm a spaz. <laughs> Lolex, Lolex, that's what Lolex, I am. Lolex. Yeah. I'm I'm a fuck boy. I'm gonna wear yeah. a gold guide weller with sweatpants and New Balance sneakers, and I'm gonna hop in a blacked out SUV. Right. You, uh, Rose, Paul, and Diego are aspiring douches. They're going to wear a 36 millimeter vintage Rolex, and they're going to get in an air cold Porsche. Yeah, it's a different yeah, thing. Yeah. And I'm going to be wearing a watch way too big for me, drunk on Jägermeister, getting into an Uber, saying, but, "I'll meet you guys there." So the let thing. me. Here's the thing, though. Being see, you guys have a better career because being a fuckboy. It's hard because there there is no career path. You yeah, wait, yeah. wait, wait, just wait, wait, stop for a second, Diego. That goes that goes on the mug. Being a fuckboy, comma, it's hard. That goes, <laughs> on, that, goes on, hard. that goes on the mug. That it's goes hard. on the mug. I, buy I think Buckley has a point. I buy Buckley has a point. That mug. Listen, it's hard. I couldn't be a fuckboy where I where I work. There, there's no there's no recognizable career path. There's no recognition. It's a long hard road. At least you guys as douches one day <laughs> can be knighted by Tim Masso or Ben Clymer. I mean, that's something, right? Oh, God. That's something. Just you can God. be knighted. See, like this picture, what you're looking at, these are fucking douche watches. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This is as good like as it gets. Fucking <laughs> insane. Once in a lifetime piece is like you fucking. This this bad. might be this might be the greatest conversation we've ever had about the merits. <laughs> Of douche boys, douche bags versus oh, versus fuck boys. Black. We're literally yeah. we're literally everyone with Which no is qualms boring. is trying to identify themselves and is openly admitting to whether they're a douche bag or a fuck boy. Um, and and again, I've always pushed for in this community. I've always pushed for honesty and transparency. And I thought I thought I was a fuck boy. But it turns out, I'm not. I'm just a douchebag. So, so he, this, so small G brings up a good point, and I would say that this qualification is based on different mixes of Caucasians. Um, no, we can't bring that in. No, 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 we can't bring that in. I because, think it's a little bit. Yeah. I think it's a little bit because we have no the, because uh, the small. B, it, it would be easy to say small boy is a fuck boy. I think. His collection, if you look at his collection, Did you call him small boy. <laughs> small, <laughs> small boy is a fuck boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, he's, so, he's, okay, so he's a He's a douche. He's a douche. Eddie is a fuck. Eddie's a fuck boy. Small Eddie's G is fuck. small G has has neo vintage neo vintage Patek. That's no, instant douche. 
if see one of the things you need to understand is if people are bouncing back and forth saying i could sell this to get this or maybe i should get this they don't know who they are yet right they don't know so yeah, small fair point around like you're setting your way you're head of red bar you're getting clipper cuts right you wear 38.5 watches um listen it's all douche from here on out for you <laughs> right it's all douche from here on, but yeah, okay he might be figuring himself out like eddie eddie's hanging around <laughs> circles and likes to network with people that are douches but at heart he's a fuck boy <laughs> And we this, might be the, this might be the greatest conversation I've ever had. <laughs> we, we all know it. We all know it. This is so good. So we have we cannot we have to talk about Diego. Oh, Diego's headed, headed straight douche, but he won't he won't accept it. He won't I'm accept just it. Have you seen how many vintage no, watches he has? Yeah, I feel like I feel like type with the Type Twenty and the JLC and everything he's holding on to. He's douche. He's douche. He's he's total. Yeah, he's pretty. He's he's probably total douche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he's he's struggling because he won't accept it. Like he's wearing a he's wearing an old Filson jacket. He needs, <laughs> he needs oh my to god! Trade that in. He needs to trade that in for uh -huh. like a bright color, like a green peacoat. Right. Green Pico. Yeah, that's yeah, so I like here's green. I like so green. here's a here's a hard conversation, which is what's Bo what's Boston Collector? Boston douche. Collector is Boston Collector is a douche disguised as a fuckboy. Yeah, the RM <laughs> is like a really fuckboy watch, but the well, his old Rolexes are definitely douche. Yeah. I mean he wants to be a douche. His blood his blood, he might be a fuckboy. It might be in his blood and there's nothing you could do. Boston, are you really, going to take that? I know he's listening. Are you going to take that? Are you going to hop on? And he's in there. He's in there. See, it's, what... it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to go for RM and ceramic APs, turbions, and be a douche. Like, you have to go Patek and Alankinson and uh -huh. Jorn. That's your path. RM, you're in fuckboy territory. I got news for you. So that's tough. You're going to have to make a decision. Uh, I think he's still trying to figure himself out. I feel that way when I see people wearing FP Jorn or Long A. Like if, when you go to these meetups, I don't think they're douches, so but I, I I know they think they're better than me. Here's here's, <laughs> know here's how you know. Here's how you know if you're a fuckboy versus a douche. It's really simple. Are you someone who constantly says they used to do it better and they did all of this better than they do it now? Or are you someone that says, I like what they're doing now. They'll do it better in the future. So wait, which was the first one? The first one is a douche. Okay, I'm a douche. Yeah, I'm yes. definitely a douche. Yes. Yeah, I'm a douche. If you're constantly saying they I guess did I'm a fuck like boy. This, they did it better. They did it better than it's never going to come back. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm optimistic. Douche. I'm optimistic no, about the future. No, I think Rolex is going to turn a, this around. If that's the oh, dichotomy, boy. Low I'm a total douche. Low oh, like, hold on a minute, uh, fuck boy. 100%. I feel like I have to have a better head of hair to be a fuck. So, so wait, wait. Here's, here's how so, you know. So wait, what's what's Buckley? What's Buckley? Oh, I'm a fuck boy. Here's how you know. I don't know. Here's I don't. Uh... Here's how you know. Here's how you know. But you want, but you whine all the time about how it used to be better. Dude, here's no. why we're no. you're definitely no. You're you're definitely you're definitely you're definitely, you're definitely you're definitely the douchiest fuck boy I've ever known. That could be true, but one is a verb, the other one's an adjective. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen. What? <laughs> I, don't know, I, just, I don't know. I'm spitting from the hip here. <laughs> One's a verb, one's an adjective. You just threw words together that are both <laughs> adjectives. I know. Listen. Buckley, one's a pronoun, one's a joke. That's definitely an adjective, behavior. Buckley. Listen, listen. You run a it's a person, place, or thing. You Sorry, run a test. On. This is a simple test. This is a simple test. You put a grand complication on the table, or you put a shiny precious metal watch on the table. Whichever one you reach for first tells you what you are. Wait, no, 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 no. no. Wait, wait. So, so wait, wait. I'm, I'm obviously going. For, I'm going for precious metal. So I'm a. No, I'm don't say precious obvious. metal. Don't say obviously. I'm going for precious metal. Instant. It should be this way. It should be this way. Does your watch impress dudes or chicks? But I could tell you. I could tell you. So Boston's going for complication. I'm going for precious metal. Diego. Diego is like. 
hovering the whole time, but I think he goes for complication. Buckley do goes for. Over? Do you flip it over Buckley. to look at the back before the front? That's how you know. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You just got to look at the watches. Buckley goes for precious metal. Every time. Every time. I, th I think Eddie Mav is on to something. Because, like, in our yeah. other group chat, we talk about big booty Latinas, and then Diego just, like, shiv. Oh, that's also <laughs> that's true. So Patina, Patina's, Patina's total douche. If you talk about Patina, you're yeah, a douche. Yeah, that's true. We're talking about Latinas. <laughs> so, yeah. here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you like, if you like thick Latinas, probably fuck boy. If you like <laughs> thin French blondes that smoke and have bulimia, you're probably a douche. Yeah. But what about the personality, guys? Huh? What about that? Okay, this, so, the, so you're talking about their boobs? Or what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Boobs or butt? If, if you like champagne glass boobies, you're a douche. What are Definitely. champagne glass boobies? The perfect, uh, how do you not know? The perfect breast fits in a champagne glass. Uh, fits, fits in a champagne glass. He's talking, like about the, what's, he's talking about 1970s no. boobs before the bra no, got no, fucking perfected. No, no, no. So, dude, so dude. Here's, here's a good no, he's small, the volume. The here's volume. a good one, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you yeah. guys a math problem. I'm going to throw you a math problem here because I haven't solved this one. From the outside, Cars and Chrono looks like a fuckboy. But I witnessed him at a dinner in New York City open a bottle of wine, smell it for about 30 seconds, and then taste it. And look <laughs> he looked at the waiter dead in the eye and said, very tight. So after he said very tight, I didn't Wait. know what he was. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. When he said very tight, is that like a wine thing that he's talking about? Or is he saying like tight, like tubular? We can't, we can't, talk, we can't talk wine because I'm, I'm a douche. So oh. if we... I think one of the one Very of the tight. oh wait no <laughs> one fuck of boys, fuck boys drinks Negronis and douches drink wine. So no That's douches no no everybody drinks wine. Douches talk about wine. Douches <laughs> lecture about wine, and that's the difference. <laughs> Obviously, now that it's, I love that I know my personality type, douches like preach to other people about wine. <laughs> oh, so yeah. that's just so funny. Which is, Very so, tight. Which is which is exactly what I do. He looks yeah, like yeah. a fuck boy because he only wears black t-shirts and he's racing around in these cars and buying these crazy watches, right? Nothing, none of it's vintage. He doesn't do that, right? He doesn't talk about Tim Maso or any of that. He's fine. But the problem is when he opened the wine and said, ooh, ooh very tight, instantaneously he has the taste in, in him. There's douche. So I don't know. We're going to have to watch him carefully to figure it out. Monitor him. Uh, what if he took a sip and said very loose? Very Boston loose bottle. <laughs> I think I'm a fuckboy who can disguise myself as a douche at the end of the day. Really, I think I'm probably a different category undercover boss. That sounds like a dude. Sorry, yeah. Boston. I'd you're like only one or the other. You. I'd like to congratulate you for two reasons, Diego. Would you like to know yeah. what they are? Sure. Number one, you should be honored because Boston Collector said that he'll never watch a stream again unless it's quality content. He has to value his content. <laughs> what, we're doing, what we're doing right now is extremely valuable content. The second yeah. thing, the second thing, this is the first time he's ever typed the word fuck in anything. Oh, wow. So congratulations, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you never hear him say that word. I've maybe heard it once or twice on stream. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, see See, this is see that my role model for being a fuckboy is Jeff. Jeff, it's okay. Jeff is top top ten. So can, He's like level Jeff's ten. Got it like that. Yeah. Can I can I lecture everybody for a minute because I've already given the speech before and nobody knows. So the, the here's the problem with fuckboys is they don't know wine, but they because most I I have a theory because I've been listening. I think most fuckboys actually aspire to be douches. Cause I, and so if you don't know wine, when you order wine, people think the entire process of ordering wine is meant to emasculate you. And it's not. If you know two or three things, you can win this game. You can win it. You can kill it. You can do fine. But it's just like what most people don't know what to do in those situations. And a great psalm will tell you what to do. A bad psalm won't. Most psalms are bad. 
And I think wine, wine, just like watches, it divides everybody into fuckboys and, and, and douches. And in the world, in the game of wines, I think most people are, I think most people are fuckboys. I think you aspire to be douches. Wait, I'm wait, definitely, what, I'm what, definitely, I, I I'm definitely a about wines. I'm a fuckboy. Yeah, wait, what I'm is definitely Oshin? a douche. What is Oshin? Oshin? So Oshin, okay. the way Oshin talks yes. about watch it, wine, let me shut up for a second because Buckley knows more than me, but the way Oshin talks about wine is uh, level, level 20. I would say, um, what, what's, what's a word that's lower than stupid? Like, it's just, dumb. it's just, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like definitely, it's definitely autistic. It's like, if you knew, um, if you went to college, if you went to analogy, if you studied analogy in school and said, teach me three things because everything else I'm going to forget, those would be the three things that he knows. And they're always wrong and they're always in the wrong situation. But nobody knows anything. Nobody knows better. Nobody knows better to yeah, say to him. And he's very Should. confident. And, and the, most, the most confident people in wine are the, most, are the people that you need to say, just like, sh sh shut the fuck up for a second. You're wrong. Like, listen to the psalm. Listen to the psalm yeah. because it is more than you. And when he, when he talks about wine from Italy, it's so, uh, to me personally, it's so abrasive. It's like listening to people talk. It's, it is like listening to people talk about Seiko. Uh, Super Tuscans aren't a wine. It wasn't so meant you're to doing be. It. So you're, you're doing it right now. So this, the, the long winded explanations are very douche and the fuck okay. boy has no idea what you're talking about. That's why okay, we okay. never Right, oh, but so I said, so Oshin is definitely a douche. I mean, listen. Yeah, listen. yeah. No, I'm. Mean, I said I was a douche. I said I was a douche. If you, but no, no. But listen, if you, if you live, like, listen, you live in Venice and you make videos, you're douche. Right? If you make your personality about living in Venice, so and don't, no, that's so here's, funny. Here's, here's, <laughs> so so let me say, question. let me say, let me say this, and I'll shut up for a second. If you spend your life in Italy. And you drink Italian wines. Guess what is the one region of wine that you would never actually drink if you lived in Italy? Where? You would never drink like North Ven Venetian wines. It's garbage. These are shit ass wine. It's garbage. Yeah. And if so, you like, if you like steak, guess is the one place you would never ever buy beef from. Venice. Venice is the China of Italy. It's the it, it, it is. Oh man! <laughs> I'm someone's gonna delete the stream. Please, please, like it is. Tourist no, I'm writing trap. that one down. I'm writing that one down. It is. Oh no, no, no! That can't go on the mug. It can't go on the mug. <laughs> Venice is the. Oh, I love that. It is. It is though. It oh, wow. is. It is. It's garbage. But, it's garbage. As and in so it's very heavy with touristy attraction, right? It's like Disneyland and, almost. But question, question, yeah. question a person who said, I had, I have, I, I chose to move to any place in the world, anywhere. And I chose to move to Italy. Okay, great. That's wonderful. And I chose to move to Venice. It's like, it's like saying, I mean, it's ultimate douche. It's the, it's like saying, I was choosing between Paris and Disneyland, and I thought, yeah, there's probably more culture in Disneyland. Good, good mm -hmm. God, man! Yeah. Like Disneyland Paris. Oh man! Oh, oh man! On. See, you know what the fucked up part of this is, Rose? We we the whole context of this is going to be fuckboy versus douche, and it's a full comedy skit. Yeah. The, yeah. H, the H stream, they're only going to show Sheen a clip of. Oh, us sorry, 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 sorry. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Here's, 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 here's You're good, Rose. You're good. good. I'll we're going to be I'll enemies this Friday. We're going to be enemies this Friday, and who needs a drink? And then we're going to have to explain what's going on here. But at the I'm end sorry. of the day, at the I'm end sorry. of the day, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. At the end of the day, Oshin is in the category of douche, and that's unquestionable. Now, okay. here's what's hard. 
everything on, I just said, this, everything, which, about... everything I said was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, let me say this about Venice. No, no, you can say let want. me say this about Venice. If you take away the hordes of tourists, it is a very beautiful town with a lot it's of a history. Underwater city. It's cool though. That, like that's unique. You don't see anything like that anywhere else in the world. And it's in, a a vac- time, in a vacuum. In a vacuum. In a vacuum. Oh well, yeah, at nighttime when everybody's gone and it's quiet and you're walking around at like one or two a.m. and you can hear the water, you know, oh. along the canals. It is very. I liked it a lot, so and I can see why he enjoys it. And everything you've just said is actually it's actually true about Times Square. I'm sure there are moments. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there are God. moments <laughs> in mid at midnight when no one's there that you look up at the. No. Jenna Jameson ad, and you're like, "This is <laughs> this, this is beautiful." <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there were parts of Venice where I was like, "God, what what did we do?" But then there were other parts where I was like, "This is worth yeah, coming I said, to." I said that but same Diego, thing. You can't Diego, ignore the entire population of people. What do you need, Diego? Diego, what? look. I said the same thing. You have, to, you have to remember, I live on Long Island, and you live in Atlanta. What are we comparing it to? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what are we comparing it to? Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, hard... I come from the slum. Here's, here's a hard one. What is Tim? Lost. I don't know. Hard I still don't know the definition between fuck boy and what was the other one? Um, douche. 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 Yeah. No, look, I mean, here, Diego, Diego. Uh, Jeff is a fuck boy. Oshin is a douche. Yeah, Diego, I think Tim douche. Tim leans more towards the fuck boy. A douche, he? all right, time out. A douche is a hodinky boy, right? And a fuck boy is no, 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 boy. no. A douche is not a hodinky boy. A douche has similar interests to what a hodinky boy would have interest in. So, air cooled Porsche, vintage Rolex, thirty six Patek, minute repeaters, uh, you know, old old ads of Marlboro following F one. Uh, all that no modern rolex no modern yeah, you're rolex in you're in there you're in there yeah. <laughs> as you're saying it out loud you're like yeah you're there dude oh, that's I mean, yeah, but, there. Tim, Tim, yeah, but i got argued as a douche because it's fucking grossman and, and what we're talking about here is is overall right like we if you're on a high chart what's 51 percent or greater and you know for for the diego spectrum. the spectrum the spectrum 51 percent or greater is going to be douche for sure yeah, I think Lil Lex is a fuckboy. How dare you? Like? I just clutched my pearls. How dare you? Like, like if we're doing if we're doing this on a on a spectrum, right? Like, I believe, like Jeff holds ninety five percent fuckboy, five percent douche, mm-hmm. and I'm probably in the low nineties, mid eighties, probably right there. I'm hundred, hundred percent fuckboy. You're not a hundred. You're below me. You're probably like seventy. You also okay. can't bench 225, Lolex. You got to get checked there. I, I'm ne- I, I'll never get to 225 in my life. That's something that I've just let go a long time ago. I'll never bench serious? 225. I'll Dude, never I bench 225. It. I can do it. You cannot <laughs> bench 225. Yes, I, the fuck I did my own body weight eight times. What are you talking about? Diego, you realize 225 is 50% more weight than 150. There's no way you can That's bench fine. I can do it. Once. Listen, I, I can, don't think you long, can, my friend. As long as my chest doesn't rip or my shoulder doesn't cave in into my lungs i can do it so you're saying as long as you can do it you can do it no no no. i'm saying barring injury freak injury right that can't be prevented i have the strength should we do everyone in the chat one by one i'm gonna do it uh well what i don't we... know a lot of my face so dirk diggler is an aspiring fuck boy for sure <laughs> <laughs> Kyle D is a douche. Is a douche. God. Yeah. Kyle D is a douche. So Evan G has an education as if he were a douche, but I think he's actually a fuckboy. Oh yeah, he's got that uh that two tone Guinness. Yeah, having a two tone watch <laughs> having a two tone watch is already ten points on the fuckboy side. Yeah. I put it Dude, there. we need to do another ratings. Do you remember that? Looking glass, looking glass is ninety nine percent fuckboy, one percent. Oh yeah, that ratings. I feel like I was unjustly fucking rated on that. I didn't get a chance. Let to me pull it myself. up. Let me pull it up. Should we What's do an updated, updated, updated Excel sheet? Let's no, you it. know how long it's gonna take. 
Diego, this <laughs> needs to be. Oh, speaking. We're just of- gonna look at it. We're just gonna look at it. We're yeah, gonna- let's look at the ratings. At least the people on the panel here. We can take a look at our ratings. Did Rose he- come back? No, that's Brody. He's he's oh, definitely he's a pretty boy. Are oh, fuck boys givers or takers? I think fuck boys are givers. I'd have to say. Um, right, you want to see yourself, Lolux? Yeah, hold on. So, I'm Brody. Zoom- okay. What's going on, guys? Zoom well, in. Very important. All right, I gotta find Enhance. you. You're pretty low on the scale. Let's take a look here. Watches. <laughs> four four out of ten my watches, Diego. Hold on. Go hold fuck on. yourself. Hold on. All right, you're right. You're explain. right. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Because here's oh the thing. God. I don't want to watch Diego do Excel. People, <laughs> dude, this this was a spreadsheet for the gods. People were like complaining about their scores, and I'm like, you it's all comparative, right? Okay. So like you're a four. Tim's a six, right? AKB is is below you at a two and a half. Someone else that you're comparative to would be Kevin. And you only got that. You have less watches than Kevin, but you also have a Black Daytona, right? The Black That's Daytona right. is what's preventing you from being a two. Yes. Fair enough, fair enough. What about Batman? <laughs> Batman's got some pool, all right? You don't have the Batman. You don't sermon. have the Batman. Okay, okay well, three. I got a Batman and a sermon now, so I should go up at least half a point. You're higher than me. Well, Lex is definitely higher than me. Yeah, where's Buckley? Buckley is... I'm like a one now. You gotta put me on like a one. Jesus, 5.5. A 5. Yeah, point, well, he probably makes it with s- grooming and hair and all This that. is archived. This cannot be changed, so... just We well, need to make a new one. We gotta make a new one. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean this is archived? Like, I we have to make a deal make, with the devil to open it? Make a, hold on. I think we should make a douche and a fuckboy category and put groups... Group it up. <laughs> Buddy, time on the panel. I'm older than all of you, motherfuckers. You were on the panel at the time. I'm the oldest one here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you were gone. <laughs> I've been here since the beginning. I started before Tim. Look, I even, I even, Archie even Johnson EDC has you beat on time on the panel. That's insane. I should be an 11. That's insane. Hey, hair and grooming, you got a six. Well, all that's right? crazy. I should be a uh, fucking one there we need to update his hairline yeah dude it's gone back since then give me a one baby country of origin 10 California. style three oh, that's I what mean, people got mad at was the country of origin uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming that Lolex. caused a lot of problems <laughs> Lolex, the, uh, the, the, the shorts below the knees is why you're a three by the way okay you know what I'm gonna let you guys have that but I'm gonna say in RL I'm right when it comes to fucking shorts if what we're in the real world, world? You're all wrong. In yeah, RL? Real, real life, baby. Real what life. What is this? That's fucking Call of Duty? Duty? Yeah, but, uh, dude. I'm gonna be a Ask professional. IRL. I'm gonna be a, a professional Call of Duty player. This this is my lingo now. So. We, we need to increase the we need to increase Lola to soreness as a result of that. Eh, that's fine. I can't, I can't make changes. Are you, yeah. Okay. Soreness. There's, there's Diego, we have a lot to work with here. Yeah. What is this delusion? Yeah. What is that? Wait, what's this other stuff? I didn't. I never saw this. So yeah. the yeah. point was, delusion. you wanted to score as high as possible. So if you were delusional as fuck, I don't, you would okay. get a low score. So, I'm assuming my soy is a ten out of ten. You guys probably gave me a ten out of ten on the soy. So like there. Marcelo, somewhat delusional, not a hundred percent like Cam. So he was a two point four. Okay. Air King Ben, not delusional at all. PG, not very delusional. So he gets a ten. You were a five. You're kind of midway. Okay, that's fair. I yeah. still don't understand, but I, I get it. Okay. I think we need to redo these fucking categories also. And look, the Some of these don't make down. sense. Soy, Again, spice. Yeah, lower the score, the worse. So you're pretty sore. I think I like style. I like time on panel. I like AD status. That's good. Uh, yeah. Country of origin. I think we should go ahead and take that out in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> we're asking for problems no, with that. No, we gotta leave no. that. <laughs> we gotta Look, take that one listen, out. Listen, here's the thing with Country of Origin, which was amazing. Like we all love Sean Pasha, right? Yeah, yeah. When we got to him and it was Iran, we were just like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> I mean, the guy. He can't we gotta be, be fair. Person. We gotta text. Did he say anything? <laughs> we got like, we really like, mad about that. We're like, we're, oh, these right. scores are based on today's scores. Not like back in the well, like when everything was mm-hmm. good. 
Buddy, you don't know how to, you can't copy this spreadsheet over, start a new I one? can. Yeah, of course I can. I'm just saying, yeah. like, these scores are not changing because this is, like, history. Then stone. Diego, okay. click on file and press make a copy. No, this no, is not. I think what he's saying is this has been done and written in stone. It's like the Constitution. There's no amendments yeah, here, baby. Lolex, this right. is exactly your problem. Oh, yeah. Cause I wanna... <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to protect Diego, all right? I don't want his channel getting taken down. Oh, but um that was brilliant by boston <laughs> what uh um, what did i say before watches and fucking time on the panel why does wait. cars and chrono have a four in grooming oh because he just he's, he's bald, just, he's bald. <laughs> he's bald. <laughs> it should be bald. zero <laughs> yeah exactly no he the still has the you are. that's he so still essentially what you're saying beard. no no that's essentially like if you have yeah. nice hair or not grooming and hair is just hair <laughs> there's no grooming involved just hair that's hilarious but either way, uh, yeah, this is fucking uh, Fugazi. My score should be a little bit higher. At least one point higher. I think we make the soyness lower because he keeps complaining. Yeah, I'll so take good. that. I'll take that. I got to me out. Real quick before I forget. Brody. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh that audio. It's pretty bad. Go, so, oh, oh, Super Haram. Super Haram. Super Haram. Brody, it sounds like you're calling in from the Millennium Falcon. What's that? Your audio is pretty bad. You might want to reconnect. Okay. Oh, Diego, we should add a halal and haram score. Hold on. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Matt on, look at this. Jesus. Damn, Diego. I'm learning wow. how to spell Vargis. This watch yeah, this. You'll be able to go to Italy soon. I like I like <laughs> Mark is behind, but he's learning about himself right now and he just posted. <laughs> oh really? What did he say? I'm he definitely a hundred and ten percent fuck boy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, give me two seconds to catch up on these. Then. Yeah, okay. make yeah. sure you're itemizing these, Diego. I'm writing this off on my taxes at the end of the year. Oh jeez. <laughs> Diego's not a five oh one C three, so you can't write it off. Small yeah, no, I, I looked into that. I was someone called me to to ask about it, and I was like, "How much work is it to just make like a real charity?" And they're like, "Just keep doing what you're doing." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> okay, okay, never right. mind. It's it's easy to make a five hundred one c three, but it's hard to get the tax exemption status. Mm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care too much about the exemption status. Just, but anyway, so Lolex is what or not Lolex? America, yeah, hundred ten percent. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read this. Double D, he got 64%. So nobody got really good scores. I mean, I'm going to assume Carolyn Martin was just a gimme, but no one really well, got above a C, right? Let's go through Pretty Carolyn much. Martin. Let's go. Let's be fair. Watches 7.2. She's not the highest. What does she have? Yeah, what does she have? She it's has good, right? a bunch of Daytonas, GMTs, Day Dates, Explorer okay. 2s. Oh, um, I didn't know that. a lot of stuff. Hair okay. and grooming, I mean... Trying to keep the peace. She's a ten. Country Lord is a ten. <laughs> Buddy, I'm style, saying give me style. She's pretty stylish. Dude, I'm on panel point two. Okay, that's fair. Not cars. Fair cars. What cars does she have? Uh, I don't know. And you give her a ten? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. Eighty right. status. Fair. 7.5 alcohol she says she can drink we believe her spice i can't remember yeah she's pretty spicy i think i think this was like we were just yeah yeah, yeah. you just gave it was a gimme yeah thank yeah. you yes so pretty much cars is the best out of all of us and then it just kind of descends from there you yeah know, but that's accurate <laughs> i'm just saying i feel like diego's a little high on there number 17. i just think saying, Buffy, diego a little biased hard. We we can go. Bias. Let me let me let me uh, record the super chat and then we can go through mine real quick. We got we got to fix Buckley. Buckley's thirty eight point five. Good show, Diego, for a good cause. Thanks, Prada. Appreciate it. I need to get these all justified. Left. Can Here you are. just select the column, Diego? Why would you? Eddie, 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 Eddie. This is right. killing Eddie watching. This. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys. I'm not gonna say a word, but. Huh. Oh, we can't change it. We can't change it. Yeah, we can't do anything. 
I know we're not changing it, but just oh, we're, we're doing our Rolex comments. seem to have an issue with my score. Say, I think a little, mm -hmm. I think a little bias, but I'll, let's I'll see let it. Slide. Let's see it. All right, I wasn't even it. there for this, so I can't even say. You shit. Know, I was just thinking, you know, I was just thinking, you know, how we have like the Boston, New York team, and then the California, and all that. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure with this fuckboy versus uh, douche, I'm pretty sure in the community I just created Democrats versus Republicans. And I think that we should have, I think in Vegas, uh, not in Vegas, I think in uh, watch time, we should have separate tables at dinner for the fuck. Oh, yeah. Is, like a United Nations and we each have like these earpieces yeah. so we can understand what exactly. the fuck they're saying. I think, sure. I, think I literally just created the Democrat versus Republican version. Sure. In the, in the fucking watch community universe. What are fuck yeah. boys? Are they demos, Democrats? Well, no, we're not that, the douches. There. Oh, whatever. We're not going to go there, but it is, it is. We'll change the colors. It'll. It won't be red versus blue. It'll be like uh, green versus America. Yellow. Or fifty-seven twenty-six two ninety-nine super sticker and fuck. We've got Jeff in the house. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Wow. For a good cause or a great cause. Thank you so much, Jeff. That's insane. I'm gonna be broke when I make these payments. I still haven't been paid by Google. <laughs> oh really? Jesus. I don't know how long it takes, but Google pays out monthly. Yeah. Does it really? Thank yeah. you so much, Jeff. That's so I used to uh, know that back when my channel let's was. Let's go to Jeff's time. let's go to Jeff's score. I think his watch is he's in the nine point five. So or now we can change sounds, it. sounds dangerously <laughs> like an aftershock. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. It's fine. <laughs> We just got seventy dollars in super chats, Brody. What do you uh, what do you proclaim yourself? I don't know, man. I mean, watch wise, probably, probably not not a not a douche, but um, uh, but at cars, I'm not into cars. I drive a pickup truck, so I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of. Wait, know. what? Have you ever bought an, a vintage watch? No. Okay, All that's right. a fuck boy. But yeah, but he was thinking about it. He was thinking about but getting he did vintage, it, but he did a vintage uh, patinaed Submariner. Yeah, but he yeah, didn't. Uh oh. Did he walk away? Can't hear him. I think so. Yeah, it sounds like he, it sounds like a he big put ass his house. He just walked, away. Bit, just walked away complaining. <laughs> no, sorry, guys. I'm back. I'd rather have a neo vintage Coke. There you uh, go. Oh, well, I know someone's selling one. Yeah. Who? You, Ooh. Diego. No, I'm. I'm yeah, Diego. No, if, I get, if I get what I want at retail, there's like only like three things I have to sell, and the Coke is staying. Mm. This is the guy to get your Coke from, by the way, Brody. Yeah, no, is I, he I, I, yeah, yeah. No, he's got good stuff. Yep. Really good condition. Yeah. Yep. So, I don't know. I'm not in a hurry. I'm really not in a hurry. I'm sort of <coughs> well, I'm not doing anything for a while. Come yeah. uh, watch Time New York. You might want to hurry. <laughs> I am. I, uh, well, I'll probably bring. Uh, yeah. All of I'm these gonna watches. Try, I'm going to try. I'm going to. I'm going to try to make it this year. You know, I think I traded my Coke to him, and he sold it. I want to see if I can find it. Let's see. That was a long time. Wait, I was saying I don't. I'm not a. Yeah. I'm not a car guy. I don't. <laughs> It's not just cars, it's other things. I'm just shooting my cars. Damn. You know. He's gone through a lot of them. If you, all right, so you're not a car guy, but if you could be, what, which one would it be? What would you get? I would want, like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, that Raptor Hemi that those guys. Fuck boy, fuck boy, that oh, they that's 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 fuck boy territory. Fuck boy yeah, territory. That's what I would want. But, but, yeah. But something, but something more like you know, modern. But like what Bill Murray drove in stripes. I want an urban assault vehicle. That's Fuck what I want. Me. Yeah, oh, dude. Point. What about this Hummer? What about an original Hummer? Yeah, that'd be cool. Dude, that's, right. that's a hundred percent a so fuckboy car. They're kind of they're a little wide, you know, so parking's a pain in the ass. But yeah, bro, just just mount the curb. 
Dr. Bob's name. I do that. I, by the way, I do that shit all the time. <laughs> like, I don't care about it. Thank you for checking Dr. Bob's nightmare. He says like, the uh, notifications are working. Appreciate the it. Fuck boy versus douche. Just like how conscious of you of where the curb is. Zero. I don't care. All right. You guys want to hear something I haven't player. told anybody? I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something I haven't told anybody. What's up? The second day I had my car, I curbed it. Hell yeah. How you know it's yours? Diego's just a bad driver. <laughs> it was these giant granite curbs, and I was like, you know how when you parallel park, you go ass first. Yeah, I went nose first because like I was trying oh. not to not to create a scene because there was a lot of people behind me. Yeah, always a nightmare. <laughs> and just <laughs> like the worst sound, the car came to a stop, and I was just like, "Wow, I just ripped my bumper off!" But it was—it's literally like a little flea bite on the wheel. You can't even see it. But I was like, "Yeah, that's me." Right in front of the AD too. That was nice. Good times. Did the guy in the Lamborghini curb his car? No. <laughs> that that car was crazy. How much was that car? A lot. Like five hundred. What was yeah, it? What was it? I don't think that much. It was a like a Huracan Evo. It was this. Let me pull it up. I think it's STO. Oh, like three hundred and fifty. He had one of these at the AD. Yeah, so I'm I'm pulling up to go meet with my new Patek manager, and this is parked in front of the AD. I'm just like, oh yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Car, but... Oh yeah. All right. I like it. Who did we lose? We lost somebody. I think Lolex always he, he does that. Lolex is like a fart in the wind. There he is. Oh, what in the what? A what in the what? A fart in the wind. Dude, I'm just dealing with a shitty phone right now. I really hate these new iPhones. I've never had more issues with a cell phone in my life. Have you considered oh. joining from your laptop? I could. I could very easily do that, Eddie. I choose not to. Are you talking about the you got the iPhone 15? This Whatever is the newest conflicted. one is. Whatever the one that they say is the best, that's what I got. And it's been yeah. nothing but headache. It's not the best. I, I you know what I did learn though? When you take a photo and you use that like F F stop button, God, this you, can, again. you can change the focus point. You can just edit the photo and change the focus. So like you yeah, can like live video. It's a live click video. here and then like change the F stop. It's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. Did you guys like go completely off the rails while I was gone? Yeah, it's probably get demonetized. Yeah. Like members only. Members only, yo. Started watching this new show. What was that show called? Three Bodies or something? Sweetie. Three Body Paradox? Sweetie. I think so. It's like about the uh the people that can like see the number countdown. Yeah, it's about aliens. Yeah, just started watching it. Pretty good. I'm still watching The Sopranos. What How season are you? Are you? What season am I on? Chrissy just died. Oh, no spoilers. Spoilers. No spoilers. Jesus. Uh, Tony's going to Vegas to go do acid with that. Oh, you're at the end of the show. You're in yeah. the last season. Dude, I do I do the same thing back and forth. I'll do a run of Mad Men, and then when that's over, I do a, a run of fucking Sopranos, and then I go back and forth. Yeah, you're at the end. Yeah, it's almost done. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I miss having a show like that that's that Who's engaging. Who's your favorite character besides Tony? Is that to get On Sopranos? Yeah. Um... Dude, oh. I've always loved. Well, Paulie's great, but I've always loved this little story arc. You know, when he they find out he's gay and he runs away and shit like that. I don't know why I love that story arc. It's so funny. That's who you pick, fucking yeah. Vito. Yeah, Vito. Yeah. <laughs> no, Paul, Paulie's Paulie's the funniest. I stand Dude. by Vito. Well, Lolex sees a lot of himself in Vito, so sure, sure do. <clears throat> No, Polly's pretty great. A lot of quotable scenes in that in the movie. Yeah. 
who who's the big guy with the train set where they killed him on the boat? Bobby Bacala. Bobby Bacala. Yeah. yeah. I Bacala. liked him. I liked him. He was a nice Dude. guy. I fucking hated Janice. Oh my oh god, my yeah. God. Talk about great casting. The worst, dude. The worst. Yeah. I was a Christopher fan. Christy's god. okay. It's kind of a little Christopher. Little yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. hysterical. It was good. Dude, that's I can't work. believe Buckley oh, you haven't you haven't well I was gonna switch shows so keep going about surprise. Oh I was gonna say I love this I love the episode where Bobby and fucking Tony go at it. They're fighting like hammered in that cabin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fucking good. So fucking good. <laughs> he gets back at him and makes Bobby kill someone. Just like, dude, what a what a hateful fuck. Oh dude, so, Tony's one of the most fucked up television characters you'll ever come across. You think so? You know, this was a this was a question uh, conversation I had with my buddy once. Where I was like, "Do you think Tony was a good leader? Do you think he was a good boss?" No, I don't think he was either. I think he was actually oh. pretty very flawed. Well, yeah, I mean, he was. The whole show is about his mental illness. Yeah, right. But he just what he wasn't good at leading, leading them. Yeah. So, with what real life uh, mob boss was really good at leading? Uh, fuck Genovese family. Um, they, they all end up dead. Yeah, but some of them did very <clears throat> long runs and made it. You know, they're still respected and all this. Um, I need Looking Glass's help. He's gonna know. Oh, you know what? Someone just wrote in the chat. I take it back. I was joking about Vito. My favorite character is Ralph Cifaretto I, for sure, dude. Oh, she Ralph is a hua. Yeah, yeah so, it's so good. What, a, what? she was a hua. Dude, <laughs> she hit me, all right? <laughs> Dude, she was the finest chick in the whole show. Yeah. Oh, that chick that he was banging? Yeah. Oh, man. But his wow. his his run was pretty short. Yeah, yeah it was oh, great, he though. Two seasons. He got two seasons. Yeah. Yeah. What about... Uh, what's <laughs> his next scene with Janice? It's so funny. You gonna work on the streets for me, you little whore? <laughs> Dude, Janice always had a fucked up guy. And you had... um. Oh, God, what's his name? Richie April. Richie April. Richie April. Gun to her head. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Dude, Richie April. I was glad when he got murked. Yeah. Fucking, fuck he had a oh, weird. Yeah. See, there's that scene that... where they're there's that scene where they're face to face right there in that photo right there in the this middle. one. Yeah. You mean you mean face to chest? Because Richie yeah. was like five five. Yeah. It yeah. was great. But no, the scene when uh, the episode when Tony walks into Janice's house and Richie's in his boxer shorts cooking breakfast and Tony doesn't realize he's going to be oh, there. Oh, yeah. Like, what are you doing here? It's like, yeah, me and your sister, you know, we got a history. That's so funny. <laughs> like, she gave me a Tony, job in high school. And then, and then Tony starts ripping into, like, Richie, like, why? Have you seen my sister? <laughs> <That's pretty funny. laughs> yeah, it was pretty Dude, good. You no, know one of the greatest scenes ever. The when When... Uh, <clears throat> The guy makes a comment at um, Meadow, and Tony goes, into "Oh the rest yeah, of that fucking curb stomps him." Oh yeah, oh. yeah, dude. Yeah. The saddest so character in the show to me had to be this guy. Oh, what was the name again? Uh, Davy yeah. Scatino. Davy Scatino. Oh yeah, because he gets he gets cut up in gambling. No, the, the yeah. saddest character was um, Artie. Oh, Artie Buco, another great yeah. character. I should have said he Artie. Like, God damn it! I like Artie too. His character. He just never. He could never. Dude, I, I hated him. He was I just a scared him. guy. Yeah, he was a scared he guy. He was just a scared guy. He didn't fit in. And he could never ever make it work. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, else he, he he kept trying to interject himself way too hard towards the end. It's like, dude, dude, just fucking. No, no, Diego, go back up to the. Just let us move your life. Fuck up. No, dude. Remember when he had to go collect the money from the guy that borrowed like fifty G's from him? Remember the fucking uh, French guy, and he had to play the tough guy, and it just blew up in his fucking face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was so good. Is it Comus yeah. Pedite? Your phone not work? He was like practicing it in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, Holy fuck, he was so good. Wild. Poor Artie. But, and he was always much, like, yeah. you know, you're trying to have a nice dinner, and the motherfucker won't shut oh, the fuck dude. up. Dude, how about how about the fight between Tony and uh, and uh, Carmella before they split? Remember that blowout fight they have? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think it's not, the first not, step, the first it's photo. Not, it's uh, no, he punches like a hole in the wall. That right there, you had it. 
Is that the one where he was on that losing streak for betting? This no, one no, 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 no. Go up, go up. That one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. They have a, there's an episode in there where the whole episode, they basically have a nonstop fight. It's mm-hmm. fucking crazy. <laughs> what? I, I got to go back she, on that one. Tells, you, know what, you know what sets him off is she tells him, she tells him, that she's been fantasizing over Furio. Furio, oh, that's Furio. it. That was already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Furio. I remember dude. that, dude. Greatest Mo, show this could time. be you. Greatest. This could be you. That is going to be me. That is going to be me after I get that hair transplant. Dude, be that the greatest show of all time. You know what? You say you say Janice was the worst, but I think Jackie April might be the fucking. Oh, I, I hate him more than everyone. Jackie oh, I hated that fuck. I hated that fuck. Yeah, that this sit guy? down he had. Yeah. Fucking hated him. Yeah. It was always my father, my father. Yeah, fuck this kid. I hated this guy. Tony's, mom, got... Tony's mom was pretty big pain in the ass, too. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. She was so funny. Guys, all right, the, how can we all forget? Oh, Junior dude. was pro. Yeah, Junior was pro. How has Junior he not? Was- how have we not mentioned Uncle Junior? Junior was great. He's still alive. <laughs> Can you believe that? Do you guys remember the scene on the golf course? It smells like sushi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's what? that? What's that? Like it's such a crime <laughs> to, to, to enjoy what he enjoyed. It's so no, I like there's the there's the scene. There's the scene where Tony goes to visit him at his doctor's office because Junior's like worried about being wiretapped. So he figures the only safe place is like at his doctor's doctor. office. And, and he looks out the window and Junior sees the feds. And he looks at Tony, he goes, I got the feds so far up my ass, I can taste the brill cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you so never good. had the makings of a varsity athlete. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, man. Junior was Most great. People- 91 two dollar super chat he says tony's mom's voice gives me nightmares to this day oh yeah oh, dude oh she it's turned so junior against him right? yeah what are you Good leaving me your hat. yeah i don't, I don't like mom. that kind of talk <laughs> what about my this? johnny was a saint shit like oh. that so good so fucking good no oh, aj to me okay. Okay, here's the thing. Everybody hates AJ, but for some reason, when I watched the show, that first photo you see of that fat kid playing Nintendo 64, that yeah. I just see me there for some reason. That was <laughs> me in 1997, just like a fat kid eating a pizza playing Nintendo. <laughs> like that was it. So, so I found I found the uh, I found the dialogue when Tony walks in on Richie cooking breakfast at Janice's house, and he's like, you know, what are you doing there? And he figures out. You know, Richie tells him that he's you know hooking up with his sister, and Tony's line is, "There are men better in the ca- there are men in the can better looking than my sister." <laughs> Valid point, though. <laughs> Janice was always fucking gross. Ugh, that fucking <laughs> Rolling Stones tattoo she had on her head, gross. Oh god, the worst. Yeah, it's the worst tattoo I've ever seen in my life. Like, it makes me gag when I think about it. This Ugh, one's for man. you, Buckley. Go ahead and read it. <laughs> You absolutely complete your brony burger. I do not tuck in my bottom buttons into my shorts, but I do wear both. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I think he, wear, I think he tucks his fucking shirts in. Into his Wait, shorts. what's what's this shirt tuck bottom buttons? Into shorts. Into shorts. Pretty much the Nantucket uh, uniform. Bottom bottom. What the fuck? No, no, no. Just type in shirt tucked into shorts. Dude, that America does this for sure. Go with. Right. Oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, By the way, I'm pretty sure that guy's wearing a Rolex. Just saying. Yeah, for sure. He's got a day date on from the '80s. <laughs> Diego type the man tuck it outfit. Oh, this, yeah. There it is. Right. That's that's what I think Tim G looks like. Like, like this. Yeah, so. <laughs> he, had like 40, he had 40 years on there, and I think that's what he looks like. This is what you're talking about, though, right? Uh, Not quite. I'm sorry. Those shorts are too high. I don't care what you're going to say. That's crazy. That's too much thigh. A man's thigh should not be visible. A Don wow. doesn't wear shorts, guys. Sorry. I'm kind of disappointed with this Nantucket outfit. Do you know, do you know that story? Lolex, do you know that story? 
about uh, from The Sopranos, right? So after they filmed the pilot, or like a few episodes, uh -huh. a real a real mafia boss called him from like Star Six Seven line. Oh my god! And really? Like, You're doing a great job on the show. Just so you know, we never wear shorts. And then like, <laughs> oh man! Yeah. And then, up, and then he never wore shorts again. It's true. A man's knees should not be visible. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you guys know Pop was like an actual gangster, right? Yeah, but not like serious. Not, like he did like, like petty really, shit. Yeah. yeah, he did like petty shit. Dude. He did time for sure. Hey, boom. Dude, I want to get a guitar. Phil Leotardo, the biggest cocksucker that there's ever been. Talk yeah, about hateable people. Out. Yeah. Dude, okay, okay. So remember Johnny Sachs? Type in Johnny Sachs. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tony, you, like, you, like, you want to get a cup of coffee? And then Tony Johnny just Sack. runs away. Yeah. Listen, the wife, she has uh, her mom's cousin, looks exactly like this guy, dresses okay. exactly like him. And sometimes we have we have this coffee place over here. In the uh -huh. summertime, you will find him outside on a lounge chair drinking coffee. Oh yeah, smoking a very thin cigarette. No, he doesn't smoke. He doesn't mm. smoke. But he's typical fucking dude. Looks exactly like this. Always dressed to the nines. And Damn. Guess what watch he has? It's not a date. Day date. date. It's, it's not, not a date date. Date, date just. No, the third option, the third acceptable Sub. option. Yeah, I'm a Vado. I'm a Vado. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yeah, of course. Nice. I can hear that. It's either Movado or Date or Rolex, Rolex in this show. But yeah, Johnny Sachs was, he had the worst ending, I feel like. I mean, besides Bobby Bacala, but he had such a sad ending. Well, he he got had cancer in jail. Cancer, smoking like a chimney. Yeah, but dying in jail, that sucks. One day we got to do, uh, just say screw it. And there's a C there's a YouTube video where it's like every death in The Sopranos. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just go Pauly's through the only, Yeah, Paulie's the only one that walked away unscathed. <laughs> there were theories about what, what he did afterwards, like Tony died. And uh, I think on Reddit, people were like, he probably got swallowed up by the New York crew. Like he, went, he ended up working over there. So, yeah, it makes sense. I can't believe... Buckley, you have you gave up. All right, first I season, like first season. I, hate, I don't get the wire. I don't get I the did second season. Season. Look, the second season. Look, wire was fantastic. It's look. Buckley. It's completely different. It's a completely different show. It's totally okay. different characters, different story. It's amazing. You it's have a to go back. So it's a Can I give a hot story. take? Can I give a hot take? Can I give a hot take? All right, hold on. L let me explain. Season okay, one was all about. I'm give a hot take. Season one was all about, you know, trying to catch these drug dealers in Boston right. or in uh, Baltimore. Baltimore. Season two is guy working at port goes bad and is doing shady shit and he's getting way in over his head with people that he doesn't fully right. understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the so the second season has absolutely nothing to do with the first season yeah. and has your character. The port, it's correct? The port. Yeah. The oh, port. And it's okay. amazing. Okay. Dude, that first season, the fucking main detective, I hated that guy. Yeah. And then the third season, I think, kind of ties it all together, but it focuses mostly on yeah. this guy. I, for, I forget his name. Okay. Um, I fucking and yeah, also, dude. Also, also, don't hate me, but Baltimore is a very uninteresting city. Oh, I know. Baltimore? I mean, it's not supposed to be like the mecca, but it is. No, I know. Like, usually it's with these really shows, good. Usually with these shows, you need an interesting, like area, city, whatever. And you got like L.A., New York City, Vegas, Boston, but Baltimore is fucking uninteresting. Listen, can I give a hot take? Yeah. I think I think the first season of True Detective was better than The Wire. Boom! I said it. True Detective. That sounds like the, something my mom would want. Well, Woody, Woody Harrelson and. Uh... Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, that was good. The first season was so good. I think it was better. Wait than a the second. Wire. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey yeah. was on a series. Dude, yeah. you, you didn't see True Detective. It was, it's 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 same no. season. It's fucking it's like amazing. Eight episodes. Yeah, yeah. This says season three though. Season one. No, that that is season one. Season two. Yeah. They just did different detectives for each season, but season one is fucking oh. really good. Really, oh, really dude, good. it's got him. Yeah, it's Woody Harrelson and fucking Matthew McConaughey. 
Wow. So good. Is this on Netflix? No, it's, it's uh, HBO. HBO, baby. HBO, HBO. Yeah. It's oh, on Max. Okay. Now. All right, me and the wife have a new show to watch. That we will watch True Detective next. It's really Alex, good. Did you see the uh, Did you see the new one that just finished this year? No, Jody? dude. Is it good with Jody Foster? Is it good? It's It's different, man. It's way different because it's in Enos, Alaska, and it's like yeah. dark twenty four hours a day. So it's like it it it's it's different. It's way different because it's such a weird atmosphere. Isn't it like paranormal uh, the based? There's like paranormal mm-hmm. aspects to it, mm-hmm. right? No, it's not. It, the, wow. the, the, I don't want to ruin it for you, but the, uh, it, the, the trailer is trying to make you think that might that might be what it is, but it's not. Mm-hmm. You guys seen this I show? Don't want to, I don't want to ruin True Detective for you, Diego, but that scene where no, nobody else just, in caps. Just don't even here? don't even talk. Don't even okay. talk. All right, all right. Bloodline, okay. Bloodline is another really good show. Um, That's yeah, if fair. you haven't seen Bloodline, it's amazing. Dude, they stopped up. filming. They stopped filming because they filmed it in the Keys or some shit, and uh, like with all these like groves and stuff, and they lost their tax credit, so they just stopped. Hmm. Rose, hmm. thank you for letting a total douche into the stream back again. What direction? Hey right, guys, that was fun. I'm gonna roll. Catch you in the next one. See you, Brody. Later. Appreciate Later. it. Later. Later, Brody. Hey, Brody. Later, man. He's gone. <sighs> And he's gone. Dude, Ozark was fucking great. Ozark, I, I couldn't. Season one was good. I couldn't I watch past that. Oh, you I haven't. I haven't. I, can't I haven't stand finished. Ozark. I haven't finished Ozark. It started getting like. Uh, Dude, when I saw this, I was like, "Nah, I'm good." No thanks. I'm he's out. the best character in the whole show, though. What, the noodlehead. Noodlehead. <laughs> Ramen noodlehead. Dude, Have you guys seen a uh, Pinky yes, Blinders? Fun. Did you guys like yeah, that? That's horseshit, I, Joe. I finished Peaky Blinders from start to finish, and anybody who doesn't like Peaky Blinders is definitely a fuck boy. Like I, I mean, that, I can't, I can't understand them. It, it, it's one of those it's, things where like I can't understand. Them. I can't understand what they're saying. I watched it. I watched all the scenes. It's it just becomes a horseshit show. I'm so fucking tired of my my Instagram reels taking you know like epic music and mixing them with some fucking metaphor from Killian Murphy in Peaky yeah. Blinders. Dude. I'm fucking over it. Enough with this guy. I'm so, I'm so, I am so gay for Killian Murphy. Like, <laughs> okay. I like, clip it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's like, I'm, I, which again, now yeah. that I know I'm a douche and not a fuck boy, like I'm definitely, that's okay. I'm totally, so I'm totally gay. gay. I'm totally gay for Killian Murphy. Yeah, he's a yeah, great he's actor. Awesome. Oppenheimer, he killed it. He killed full, it. Full transparency. Anytime I think of Evan G, I think of there will be blood, and I don't know why. And he hasn't seen the fucking movie. Wow. I know. This is the ultimate movie, Evan yeah. G. This is the ultimate Evan G movie, and he I hasn't know, seen. I don't know how he hasn't seen this. Movie. How the f- look at this? Look, he's wearing a Filson hat. See, he's cool. You realize you guys you guys are making this you guys are saying this just because of the mustache. But if you really think if if you really think about this if you really think about this character, like this guy is he is everything bad that a person could be. Like he Oh yeah. He's horrible. He's the worst he's the he's the worst guy ever. That's Everything he says, that he does. I see the worst in people. Like he is <laughs> yeah. so funny. I see the worst in people. Yeah, all all, I, all I see in this is him just going like, I'm an oil man. That's pretty much it. Just going around towns. I'm an oil, I'm an oil man. So who do we... So in, in your best of best, if you're, if you're describing yourself at your best moment, what movie, what movie character do you hope oh. you would be? Because oh, we can we can start we can start naming names. I know, like obviously, <laughs> Diego. <Here> we go. <laughs> Diego. Diego. Let's go. Like obviously, Diego thinks he's fucking Tom Cruise. <laughs> obviously, I'm, Top I'm Gun. Dirk, I'm Dirk Diggler from Boogie Nights. <laughs> <laughs> that's who I am. I'm jerking Wait, off that's in a, a mirror. Real, I'm a star. I'm a that's star. a real person. No, dude. <laughs> it's fucking Mark Wahlberg. This rules. Oh my god. I'm I'm high on coke, jerking off in a mirror. 
I know who Rose is. Oh. No, you don't. No, he's you don't. Landers. Don't pull it up. No. <laughs> no. He's, bro- he's John C. Riley. Oh, God. <laughs> this is Rose. This is Rose when he gets kicked out of all the red bars okay, and he comes okay, back like 30 okay, years okay. later. Another, I've been another, around. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's another, got all his Vacheron jacket. Here's man, another man. man I was five years man, ago. Man, man. I'm too damn blind. Hey, hey. No. I've seen Tommy Owens older than you. <laughs> Listen, here's another defining line. Do you go for Scarface or you go for Scent of a Woman? If you go scent for Scent of a Woman, woman you're definitely scent. a douche. Scent of a I'm Woman for sure. Scent of, <laughs> scent scent of a, a woman. woman for sure. I'm a total. Yeah. See, total, the total douche. I'm a total no, douche. No, but here's back. the thing. Yeah. Scarface See, is so overplayed. It's a good movie, but it's nowhere near as good as There Will Be Blood or even... You're fucking crazy. I think Boogie Nights was better than Scarface. I gotta be honest with you. This I'll is my favorite. There. This is my favorite death in Scarface. Yeah. You can't kill a cop. Yeah. Hold <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on, so Mel. Who says you was a cop? You know what? Hot take. Another hot take. I think Carlito's Way was better than Scarface. There. Uh, so. Mel. No, I haven't seen mean. that. Carlito's Scent Way of a is woman. just as good as Scarface. Scent of a Woman is a great movie. Yeah. Great movie. That was great. Dude, the fucking the montage in Scarface when he starts making money and they play <laughs> push it to the limit. Yeah. The fucking yeah. greatest American montage of all time. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to think what's better than Scarface, like realistically. Carlito's way is about oh, at Godfather. the same level, no, a little no, no. less. No, 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 let's be clear. Godfather one is Yeah, one's good. I like two better. I like the I like two better one. But- Okay, just put one and two into one movie because you should yeah. really watch both in the same day. God, yeah, exactly. how do I forget the name of this movie? By the way, Colonel Jessup. What was this movie? Oh, a few good men. Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that. It's a good movie. I think my two favorite. See, this is hard. I think my favorite crime movie is actually American Gangster. That's a great movie. That's a good movie. I, I find that movie to just be fucking. Like I can watch it over and over and over again. Can I can I say a movie that's just as good that people don't talk about? The Town with Ben Affleck. Not no, uh, not yeah. just as good, but pretty good. Yeah. It's good, but if you want to go, you know, a hair under, a hair yeah. under this, The Departed. Oh, The Departed's oh, better dude. than American Gangster. It is, dude. The Departed just bums me out. Like it's an oh, amazing yeah, movie. Oh, it I just bums me. But this out. is a good film. Dude, I, this is a really good film. This is these like all of these actors. This is them at their best in this movie. Yeah, Wahlberg before he became a Dare fuckface. I say? No, he Dare was. Dare I? Say? Yeah. He was a fuckface already by then. Yeah, you know he didn't want to be there for this film. Like he, uh, he was, he was obligated by the studio to do this, so he didn't want to do it. You gotta admit, when when this guy got shot, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty it was satisfying. Good. Dare I Pretty say sense. one of Scorsese's best films? I mean, Scorsese has great films, but this Hi, is Dad. out there. Hi, Dad. I'm not going to make it home for supper. <laughs> and they you just don't fucking I, burn everything down. Yeah. You know how I know, I know I'm a total douchebag? It's like, if, we, if I had to en- identify with myself as a film, and again, I'm a total douchebag. I'm like, definitely John Cusack and like, say anything. Oh holding God. up the boombox. Oh, I'm my total- God. Rose. Yeah, I'm a total, I'm a total douchebag. I didn't uh, know this part of you, Rose. Well, okay, I don't even know this is. I'm always. Oh, uh, you, you don't know. This? Say any. No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, it. I say anything. Holding up the here's blue a, box, like here, here's yeah. the thing, Rose. Log, wait, wait, wait. Rose, do you, no, 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 do no. you I not see, know? I see this on Netflix. You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing when I see this on Netflix? Next. Scrolling past it. Yeah. Next. Oh my God. You got this is a very specific type of film. John films, yeah. Diego, yeah, Diego, Diego like specific. I thought I uh, America, uh, what the hell? <laughs> hey, I'm not 30s. saying I won't I'm not saying I won't give it a chance, but like this might be the worst poster I've ever seen for movies. Oh my god. These are iconic like I I uh, five minutes ago I thought I liked you, man. Like you gotta <laughs> watch like if you don't if you don't he, want he to say anything, this, Jose, he would hate this. He would Let hate me this. guess. Your second favorite movie is The Breakfast Club. Good movie, but nowhere near as good as Sixteen <laughs> the Candles. Silence. Is more the silence from Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen Candles is closer to this than The Breakfast Club. Just saying. I've never even heard of this movie. You never seen it, Diego? Oh, seriously, we're not get, we're not we're not getting together. Like you need to watch this. 
What was you the name watch, of this? You don't show? have to watch Breakfast Club. Molly, watch say well, anything. Don't you Molly. fucking dare say she's good looking. I will. Yeah, she's say. very mid. Oh, Diego Wood. Oh my her. god. Oh, wait, wait. Bro, Diego oh, Wood love her. Oh my, oh, god. my Hold god. Hold on. I'm making up my mind. Okay. Julia. She is eight, she's eighties hot as heck. Molly yeah. Ringwald. Oh my god. Yes. I don't get the. I don't get the Molly Ringwald. Oh. Fucking Oof. Julia Roberts. What do we think, boys? Julia Roberts and Erin Brockovich is the way to go. I guess, Oof. yeah. Everybody knows it. Touch her. Look at that. No, it's right there. It's right there. That's the second front on the second row. The second. You photo think I'd get left. in trouble if I had this poster in my closet? Well, that's uh, a weird one to pick. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Special. I mean, it's for sale. That's I, that's what I'm saying. Mystic Pizza. She was pretty hot. Aaron she Brockovich. She was pretty she hot. Huge, she has a huge mouth. Yeah. You guys that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good. We're, thing. we're not. This is. We're not talking about her. We're go, go back to. Uh, Go back to the girl in uh, Sandy thing. <laughs> go back, go back, go back, go back. Isn't, Don't that say anything. From, isn't that the same chick from Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Oh, yeah, she's yeah. Cute. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. cute. I really put need yourself to get in the eight, put yourself in well. the eight, that yeah. full full screen the shot with the like little. Uh, what about this one? Yes. Oh God, dude! <laughs> Am I crazy that this looks like uh, Clark Kent kind of? I mean, yeah, he's yeah. white and he has black hair. Sure. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Looking Glass 499. He says Scarface, hands down. Godfather 1 and 2 as a set. And then Goodfellas followed by Casino. I mean, Goodfellas oh, no, might be the greatest. I Good still Fellas have yet to see Godfather. Film. Don't get him the oh, fuck out of his own right. dream. Bye. I just kicked him off his own fucking street. Yeah, Jesus, dude. What Godfather oh, one and two is okay. two is amazing. I, I would say if I have to rank them, two is better look, than one. Look, look. Here's, here's, how you, so, here's how you know you're a fuckboy. If you consider Goodfellas to be one of the greatest films ever, you're a fuckboy. Sure. Wait, wait. Uh, expand okay. that photo, Diego. It's, go up. So that's with I will say, Miranda wearing the the fucking. Uh, so wait, wait. People fedora. are saying. Go down. People are saying. People no, are down. saying that Dune. Dune right two, there. and the, obviously you're a you're oh. a fuck boy. All right. No, the one where it's the family photo. There. This? Tell me I don't look like the the brother all the way to the right. Fredo <laughs> next to Michael. <laughs> Fredo. Fred, tell me I'm not Fredo. You guys say what character movie? What character in a movie am I? I'm fucking Fredo. So here's the thing. I, I, I put Goodfellas in the same category of outrageousness a bit as Scarface. It's not as bad. No, it's like, no. It's a little no, bit kind of like... No, You are out of your bird. Right. It's good. Film. It's good, but Departed is better. Better than what? Oh, Casino? That's... Fuck, no Diego. Way. You're, you're touching really, really touchy grounds here. You know? Like, I don't know about that. Casino is like you could. I could watch that movie every day. I think Casino. Never oh fuck! Movie. Sorry, I had a confused with Casino. Okay, Goodfellas. Yes, Joe Pesci. Oh yeah. Say that again. You th you think The Departed is better than Goodfellas? No, no, no. Better no, than okay. Casino. We're not gonna go there. We're not gonna. Go no, there. yeah. Let's no, just do it. Yeah. Let's yeah, just do it. Casino is still one. better. Yeah. Let's Let me just show you guys the movie that beats them all. Hold on. Ugh. Let's just say Godfather one and two are ten. We got nine point uh, yeah. nine. 9.7, 9.6, 9.5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Dude, I put Casino as a 10, too. Casino's definitely up there. He is yeah. not nearly as good as Casino yeah. or Goodfellas. Yeah, no. Oh, I, I, I mean, enjoy it a lot more. No. Nah. This, scene, Casino, this scene? Holy Yeah, fuck. classic scene, I know, but I'm just saying it's it's, it's not, not as good. good. Yeah. Val Kilmer wasn't mm. utilized in this film as, like, he, a, he should be used more in this film. Stop! Stop all this. You go go back to films that you grew up with. Go yeah, back yeah, to films. Okay. Hold on. Stop. Right, gotta... You didn't. You 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 guys stop for a second because I'm older than all of you. So you, you stop fucking twerking on these films this that movie you only discovered so... after the, the fact. Time? No no no. <laughs> there's a, here's where you're wrong. Here's go up. Wrong. Go. You guys. You here's guys. You guys didn't even know. The net look here's here's how you know you don't know film. None of you, none okay. of you, really grew up with the never ending story. Oh my god, <laughs> never ending story. And if you didn't grow up with the never ending story, and if you didn't have a call him a new name, 
<laughs> Bugs <Yeah>. laugh. <laughs> you you're all like you're you're all grant like no no no. So your grand Seiko your grand Seiko collectors. Like you didn't you didn't how dare you. I've, I've been I've been, I've been around. I've been around. Don't ever call me no, a no, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen you me. didn't you didn't if you're in Roadhouse, you didn't grow up with Roadhouse. Uh no no no. If you grow up on Long Island, if this Long this Island, show right Long Island, Queens and Brooklyn. I am an FBI three, agent. By the time you're three, your dad has showed you good fellas, even though he wasn't supposed to. You want to see what I grew up with? So you're, so you're wrong about that no. one. No, this is what I grew up with. What the hell is that? Is that a that's dance with the so greatest? Yeah. Oh, that's the greatest movie. It's the greatest movie ever. It's amazing. Greatest movie ever. Greatest movie ever. It took me six and a half years to get my wife to watch it. Which was, she was like, I get it now. I was like, yeah. And the Dude, only reason. I can't watch that. Buckley uh, doesn't know. Buckley doesn't know. When he's talking about movies, Buckley doesn't know anything he's talking about except. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. When I when I had what when I had a moment and I went to the community, and I was thinking of showing everybody, you know, I had the moment with my kid, and I was thinking of showing them scent of a woman, and Buck said, "No, no, no, you show them the Bronx Tale." That was, that was the right move. So we did we did Bronx Tale and we did. Like, and now my kid, my kid literally walks around in this upper suburban Catholic school and says, yo, man, I got, yo, man, I got pinched. And I'm, I have to tell him like, dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up. It was the assistant principal. You didn't get pinched. I got but, pinched. And then, <laughs> but he still walks around and he goes, yo, man, I got pinched. And I, I stood, I stood up, I got pinched. And so now all the kids are going. Now, now the thing is, if you get in trouble, people are saying I got pinched, and that's all. Dude, freaking coming. Awesome. But anyway, but anyway, my point is, my point is, Buckley was right. When you're tr when you're trying to teach a kid a lesson, uh, Bronx uh, Tale, Bronx Tale might be better than Son of a Woman. Might well, be better. Any mafia film will teach kids lessons. It's just kind of funny. Right, but see, you know what's great about these movies. Everybody knows them, and everybody knows at least one scene from them. Yeah, right. Like every single one. Like if you think of if you think of a Bronx Tale, there's a scene everyone thinks of, which is him beating the, when they when they lock the bar and they beat the shit out of the bikers with the baseball bat. Oh, that song. But but, but wait 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 hold on hold on one second. Um. So I gave this reference. I was trying to be emotional, and I told the story to my company. I told the story to my employees and I said my kid got pinched and literally no one knew what I was talking about. Oh, fire oh, them. Dude. Fire them all. See, that's easy. No one knew. That, that's easy. You fire them all. I mean, that's I wanna, simple. I want to see your uh, collector review. You'll never find it. You'll give it to us. I'll never give it to you. You'll never find it. Hmm. Chaz Palminteri. You'll never find it. Such a sad character. The dad. Yeah. The dis look at the disappointment in his face. Mm. Well, that kid, you know that kid grew up to be a fuck up, right? In real life. Really? The I, work, I, the work yeah, he lost stopped. all his hair. What a fuck up. The I working man, the, the working man, the working man is the tough guy. The working man is the honest man. Yeah. Dude, that, kid, man. that guy grew up to have like crazy drug issues, but he like aggressively went bald, like aggressively. I don't know. Maybe it's because when you know someone, when, when you see them, with, you, you, you see, oh, you think that's what it is? Yeah. yeah. Problem. Have you seen him recently? He's Jack. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. But What's it's just name? like, it's, it's off putting how bald he is. I don't know. It's just me. That's that's yeah ninety. Ooh, I think you went to one of those. <laughs> <two>. <laughs> guys, 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 let me ask you something. Just, Diego, just keep this give up. it up. No, no, Diego, keep this up. If I hold get on, there, will on. you tell me to shave? Yeah, <laughs> you have to you. be my friend right. and Lolex, say Lola. When I see time. you, 
when I when I ask, hey, what you up to? And you say, <laughs> just putting hot glue on my hairline. I'll let you know it's time. I need you to be my friends and tell me when I'm here. Okay, Lola, I'll fly out time. to Los I Angeles and I'll. Cry. Do you guys promise? Do you guys promise <laughs> you'll tell me when I get here? Look at his eyes. He knows. He knows. Wait, he can we have a photo taken? Can we have a serious conversation about this? Because every every watch YouTuber <laughs> right now. Let's just leave this here. <laughs> oh, on. Wait, 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 stop, stop for a second, stop. Every watch, let's get serious for a second. Every watch YouTuber nowadays is being sponsored by, um, is this brand called Hims? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're all being sponsored by Hims. And look, yeah. my, my hair is, <laughs> here's the thing with my hair. Here's the thing with my hair. Uh, my hair looks, my hair looks, my hair looks great. And then once I once you see me jump in the water and come up, yeah. you're like, whoa! I mean, people like you. You don't. So my hair is so my hair is so thin. You know, I dive in. I dive in the lake, and I go, "You're all pussies. I don't care. The lake's cold." And I dive in, and I'm the man for for a one second. I'm the man, and then when they see me come up from the water. They all ever literally every goes whoa, whoa, and I have to, I have You're to that really guy. You're that guy. <laughs> as fast as I come up from the water, I gotta take the hand up on the head and shake the hair around and be like, no, 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 Dude, and I have to so shake, <laughs> and I have to shake the hair around and as quickly as I can get into like the, <laughs> get into the fro as fast as I can. <sighs> God. Well, I kind and of feel on that. My hair, when it gets wet, is just ridiculous. I, I do the same. As soon as, as soon as my head breaks, before my whole head breaks water, I'm already parting that shit to the side. Dude, realize it's my boat. It's my lake. Everyone's around. It's my, it's my town. But when they see me come up from the water, there, there's a moment where they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I gotta go." <laughs> we gotta have a meeting about this. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't Steve yeah. have a boat? Yeah, I think Steve's got a vote. Let's see what Steve's doing. It's, yeah, it's it's very emasculating. Dude, how do you uh, let your friend leave the house like that? That's so fucked up. All right. This is I Googled worst hair in Hollywood. Let's see. This is that Dominican. Uh, can, we, can we go over who has the worst haircut of all time? Sure. The owner of the Raiders. Oh, oh dude. But you mean Mike the Snake? He wears haircut. <laughs> Mike the oh, Snake. Holy shit. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. I don't know how. I don't know when. I have so many questions as to how a billionaire. Holy fuck. Enhance. I mean, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know why we're doing it. He's a South Park character. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Dude, I hate uh, to say it. That's that's me coming out of the shower. <laughs> Here's Lord. the thing, though. Here's the thing. There's room. It's a choice. It's a choice. Look at this. Oof, that's okay. horrible. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. You could. He at least he's got it right. He's he's got the capability, but it's a choice. I don't know why. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> a fucking bad choice is what it is. It's the worst thing. I, I don't. I, the first time I saw it, I, I thought it was a joke. Do you guys remember his dad? No. All right. If you guys have children watching, please uh, send them yeah. to their bedrooms. So holy shit, dude! Oh, I mean, he, oh. he was sick. He was clearly sick, but that was yeah, his dad. Yeah, he was a legend. He was yeah. a legend in his time. What watch what time? New York twenty 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 four. Al Davis, yes, legend. We're we're getting someone's getting a hotel. I'll get a hotel with a swimming pool. We're going swimming. Nah, I can't. My hair plugs will fall out. We're going swimming. I'm swimming for Lolex. The the best the best way to put people in their place is to see them with their shirt off and their hair wet. If you want to look like, 
If you want to look pathetic, yeah. It doesn't matter what watch you're wearing, it's about, <laughs> it's about everything else. Right. Oh, I found the best Al Davis photo ever. Check this out. Dude, I did all right. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Looking <laughs> badass. Look at those glasses, dude. Terrible. Are... <laughs> no, dude. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> that sucks so bad. No, that, that's me in the swimming pool waving my hair when this everybody like, first that's when everybody first looks at the Vastron and they're like oh and then they look at the hair and they're like ooh man this is like Marcus Allen days like yeah. this is vintage this is good Dude. oh man good times well I think One it's a I'm... good time to go oh, after a... show. Yeah, yeah, let's go after show. Then we can get, yeah. Wanted to uh, drop the link a few times for the after show and wanted to say thanks to all the supporters of tonight. I'll give you guys a tally here in a sec, but huge, huge thank you to everybody, especially Jeff. George Varghese and MJ. That's pretty amazing. And I think tonight the total was $480 that we raised. Oh, wow. so good job, yeah. everybody. Wow. Thanks for running the show when I was gone. Thanks for tuning in. And apparently the uh, notification thing works, so go ahead and hit the bell. Subscribe. I don't care about subscribers, but just subscribe so that when we do do shows, you're notified. All right. Any party words? Anybody? Thank you. Thank you for launching. Thank you for doing it. Fuck boy for life. <laughs> no, no. Douchebag. Douchebag no, for dude. life. Sorry, buddy. Dude. These colors don't run. <laughs> See you guys. Douchebags over fuck boys. <laughs>